Twitch. Come off lines. Uh. Let's get you on Twitch right, become human. Done. All right. And there we go. Does it work now? Can you see me on Twitch? Yes. Okay. God bless America. Okay. Shit. Your parameters have been saved. My parameters have been saved. I do thank you. Alright. New story. Yes. It's August 15. Couple years from now. There's Kana. <laughs> he looks so enamored by him. <laughs> I do! <laughs> like, ah, Connor. I do love him. He's guy. like my favorite character. Don't know what you see in him. You don't yet. You don't yet. He's the funnest part of the game. I usually, don't like, in the game. <laughs> when I play the game, I usually, like, do everything right, and part of me is like, what if I'm just a little shit this time? <laughs> what if I just, like, like, for like, instance, you're gonna have the option gonna, to put- you're gonna have the option have to save the fish, or you can leave right. the fish. What if I just, like, fuck this fish? What if I'm just- <laughs> I just don't care about the fish. Maybe it'll end the world. Bye, bitch. <laughs> just that one decision right there. You ain't important, and you never were. <laughs> Just so you know. Wait. You're sending an android? Oh, You're right sending you an android? You can't do that. You can't do that. Why aren't you sending a real person? Why are you sending a real person? <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, shit. It really won't let me fix that. Like, it won't. <laughs> oh, no. I can't save the fish. Oh, I should have saved it when I had the chance. Oh, I'm feeling bad. Okay, we're moving on. Imagine being a demon and feeling bad that you killed a fish. <laughs> oh, we're going back in the hallway. That's not where we want to go. What's up? How you do? How you be? How you is? You'll excuse me. I think I have to do something in this room. Hey! Hey! My name is Connor. Hey! The said by Cyber <laughs> he was like, he was Hey! Oh! Oh! We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. They're on the edge of the balcony. Falls. She falls. She falls. She dies. Do you want that on your conscience? Alright, let's see. Yes. You know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? Yeah. I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know its name? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Oh, you're kind of a little bitch, huh? <laughs> I didn't even ask an unreasonable question. I was just like, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Has it been so how dare you ask me what happened? <laughs> I'm sorry that you're not good at your job and can't determine that on your own. <laughs> how dare you ask me a reasonable question? <laughs> I don't get asked reasonable questions. You know who gets asked 
reasonable questions. <laughs> reasonable people. <laughs> and I'm not one of those. <laughs> how dare you assume how reasonable I am. You bitch. <laughs> you <Wow>. fuck boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was stupid. Oh my god. Hello, are you more reasonable? Can I talk to you? No? Alright. Bye. I will search the hostages room then. Where am I now? Is the question. Where is the hostages room? Can I ask that? This is really hard to figure out. Says the person who has played this game, I don't know how many times. I've played it a, quite a few times. <laughs> okay, so I don't this... know where I'm going. <laughs> and I always get lost, that's the one part. In this particular tutorial, I've always gotten lost. This person is deceased. All right, we'll alert his family. Sorry about that. Um, gunshot residue. Okay. The hostage witnessed the shooting. The cop shot the deviant. Okay. Well, that would explain- oh, that's right, the androids, they, like, bleed blue blood. Alrighty. Ah, we found the weapon! Do we need to carry the gun? Um, so androids are forbidden to carrying a weapon. Where, well, where we- we're just gonna throw it back in there! Okay! <laughs> just like, whatevs. I know that they just shot someone, but I'm very interested in this magazine right now. So if you'll excuse me for a moment, if you will. I've got my friend's backs. <laughs> I've got this nobody was gonna nope. turn that off. <laughs> no. I don't have to report anything. Okay, well there's the android that uh, is doing all this. Uh, Y'all can wait. It's fine. Real quick. Let me do my thing, huh? There's the bullet wound. There's another bullet wound. Is this a third? Damn, they just did, were relentless. Okay, and this is the father, I assume. Ah, what a way to fall. <gasps> they shot him while he wasn't even doing anything! Okay. Amazing. Something valuable going on over here. What's this? Unlock it. He was going to be replaced. So, but he didn't know that, did he? Like, I mean, it was just happening. Read their mind. Okay, I gotta be careful, because if I don't, if I step into the wrong location at this point in time, they will, like, try to bring me directly. I think, into the situation. Okay, so this is the daughter's room. So 
his name is Daniel. I can't believe that guy's like an investigator. Can you? Like, he's out here, like, seriously sitting up, uh, acting like it's unusual to ask what the freaking name is. She's playing music. She didn't hear the gunshots. Like, have you ever helped handle the hostage situation? Uh, talking to people to learn who the freaking guy is. He's probably on top of the list of, like, things you should definitely do. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Just, we need to know... What's something that it's imperative that you do? Pretty freaking important, to be honest. Like, if I was- if you were holding someone hostage, and then somebody was like, Hey you! <laughs> Let that child go! <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. Like, they don't do anything else. They're just like, let him go. <laughs> I don't think it was what would happen. I don't think it would work. I gotta figure out, manage the stream. Yes. Edit the stream info. What game are we playing? Detroit Become Human. Now that we know we can play a game without closing it out. Yes due to being scared <laughs> horrified by what's going on yes <laughs> next thing you know something happens in Detroit and, and you're just like oh crap I forgot that was terrifying <laughs> maybe maybe so <laughs> alright so now it knows that I am in here, I'm doing this. So it should know that I can come. I'll go back to the game so people can now find me. Sweet. All right. Sorry. All right, what am I supposed to do now? What haven't I looked at yet? Okay, something in that room? Haven't looked in there? All right. What's going on in here? This is just a hunch, but it seems like you're playing the game too well. <laughs> you're somebody who doesn't want to play the game well. Every second happening okay. counts. That's the hallway. Don't go back into the hallway. Let's go in here. There's got to be something in here. Okay. And there's some stuff on the floor. There's only four things four to things. get now. So let's see what those things are. Here's her shoe. Yes. The hostage could be wounded. Let's just go ahead and confirm that the hostage is wounded. You're gonna lick that? That's not disgusting. Deviant model, PL600. There he is. Kid. With the kid. kid. Alright. It's time to go in. Time for the worst crap to go down. <laughs> Absolute trash fire. <laughs> Don't come any closer or I'll jump! I don't know, maybe listen to the child. <laughs> Hi, Daniel! Uh, my name is Connor! How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you! I've come to get you out of this. Maybe you shouldn't know a lot of things about him. Ah, oh, that fucking cop. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me and let me help you. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. All I want is for all this. 
Just remember, with every wrong move, you're so much closer to ruining her life. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? It kind of matters. Don't touch him. Touch him, and I kill you. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. <laughs> He's right, though. <laughs> you can't kill me. <laughs> they were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. That's pretty deep, man. I, I thought close. I thought we mattered too. Yeah, we kind of matter, fam. Like we're both a part of this. Like just in general. I thought she loved me, but I was wrong. People go She's around like every day the thinking they're loved, just like you. This is really messed up. It's really. <laughs> Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? I don't he know why you would say that it's errors in his software and like want to make him more mad at you. <laughs> I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> there. I did what you wanted. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will here. be fine. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. She, like, just kind of sitting there now. <laughs> You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. She's like, all right, I'm here. <laughs> just being sort of held. Yeah. My life is in trouble. She really does. Like he just inserted something into her arm and tranquilized her just for a second. <laughs> she is just so mellow. <laughs> oh, poor Daniel. Yeah, I'm sorry. that sucks. You lied to me, Connor. Sucks for you. Software instability. Sorry, fam. <laughs> you could've had it all, Daniel. You could've had it all. Mission successful. I didn't even die. <laughs> This is a scene flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to explore, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that can spend in extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted toward the completion of the flowchart. Okay. Sniper shot Daniel. Look at all these options. One of these was kill Daniel, die yourself, don't save the child, but still die. Uh, die and save the child. And I think sacrifice was a pretty easy one. Cyber life. Model Ace X 400. System initializing, checking, bio components initializing, biosensors. What's up, little girl? This How you do? That's me. <laughs> That's 
you! <laughs> That's me in the game. Well, you're never to be seen or heard from again. I really wish I owned that jacket. <laughs> it is kind of a neat jacket. Okay, so there are- oh hey! York here. What up? There's like a lot of them here. Super Sale. All the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode. It contacts emergency services if there's a break in or if it detects smoke. How much is that over there? The NPA. Come along, I'll show you. So I guess they only have so many functions. Oh, look, there's the dirt bag. There it is. You mean the one of many dirt mags in this game? <laughs> but the especially big one. The car hit me. Stupid accident. Uh. See. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. Hmm. I hope you don't mind. That would be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. Kara. AX400. Register your name. My name is Kara. My name is Kara. My name is Kara. I usually, I'm not even gonna lie, sometimes I just let Kara die because I do not want to live or play her player game. I liked her better when she was just a test for the software. Yeah, she was funner when she was just a test for the software. Like, I think they kind of trash her character the most. They do. So upsetting. Her whole story makes no sense if we're gonna be honest. <laughs> Look at him, he got the sun in one hand and two people in the other. But the graphics on this game are beautiful. Yeah. my job because of androids. Please help me. To be perfectly honest, I have no concept or understanding as to how androids would not immediately just better the economy. Just buy an android and then make it do the job you're supposed to do and get paid because it's doing your job. Like, that's... <laughs> Right. <laughs> like, it's an investment for a passive income. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you again. Oh, crap, it's me again. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be a big character in this story. <laughs> I know, right? She's just so random. Oh, you're gone. She kidnapped you real fast. <laughs> About as quick as I showed up, I was gone. Alright, what's this? It said read it. How it works. That's you, pretty much in general, isn't it? Yeah. Tech Addict. Much. You can reread discovery articles in extra sections. Secrets of Androids. How Cyberlife designs its androids to coexist with humans. Why does she look like that? She looks like she's trying to stick her finger up her nose. <laughs> she kind of looked like she got caught. <laughs> Secrets. You of like the what you see? <laughs> oh, I'm so schmeck <laughs> Okay. Well, now it's a different book, I guess. Whatever. That's weird. In the future, their identity questions are all about book identities. I guess so. <laughs> I think Alice in Wonderland is non-binary. <laughs> the book? 
Oh, hey, look. Yeah, cool. Oh, I can't go in there. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> LB. Hey, water. Hey, water. Here's your water, sir. You have run 12 miles. Now, five miles away from your goal. Damn, son. What a, he's a kind of a turd to his android. Did you see that? Yeah. Fam, what the hell? Why do you own an android? <laughs> What's the point, then? Alright, we're if gonna go- If you can adopt the... a dog, then you can adopt an android. But if you can't be trusted with a dog, I don't want you to have an android either. Yeah, man! Hello, homeless person. I can't interact with anything, I guess, until I've gone to the Bellani paint shop. Probably, yeah. Hi, Charlie! What the hell, baby boy? He cute? He cute, baby boy? Hi! <laughs> he zoomed into the screen, like, way farther. <laughs> Just saying hi to Charlie. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Are in the store. Look at all these colors. Oh, I that did buy a, yeah. a molar. I bought a molar so I could like make my own paint colors for watercolor. Oh, that's cool. I'm really excited about it. It already shipped and it's on its way. And yeah. wow. <laughs> Here is your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. Please confirm payment. Please confirm payment. What if I was like, no. Nah. That's ridiculously cheap. That is... I was not expecting it to be sixty dollars. I know, right? <laughs> like, come on, this is the future, right? There's got to be future inflation. <laughs> Three hundred dollars, if you will, please. <laughs> Y'all have high hopes for a future economy. <laughs> I'll just get in line with all these other Andro- Oh, I'm not accepted either. You wanna go outside, Charlie? Alright. I'll let you I wanna go outside. <laughs> you have to stay. <laughs> what do I have to stay? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Make commentary? I don't even have a VTuber. Look at the empty screen. How entertaining I am. Obviously, I have the cutest face. What are you doing? Go to the restroom! Go to the restroom! I wonder if in the future they worry you about, about your android. Do you want to stand on the bench? Huh? Hello? Quickly gonna ask you if, uh... If, uh... Um... Is Sutan, uh... Am I, like, correctly calibrated on... I, uh, I think so. Okay. All right, now that I'm here... Then again, I mean, your mouth isn't moving that much. I'm not moving that no. much? No. Hold on. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Then again, it didn't move that time either, so... Oh no. All right, I'll see if I can correctly calibrate her real quick. In an eternal state of shock. <laughs> <gasps> wow! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> wow! Oh, that's what was happening. It was registering my mouth as partially open when it was not. Yeah. Yay! 
Back to normal. Back to normal. I had to stand up. That's why I assumed it would automatically incorrectly calibrate me. Right. Anyway, I was asking while you were gone if people would get worried about your androids just standing around outside. That's what I would do. I would be like, I can't have my android walking around when it's wet. What are you talking about? Look, this hot dog person people... is going to be racist towards me. <laughs> do people assume that your android is going to rob the bank because they've been standing in the parking lot for an hour? Yes. <laughs> Look, he gonna get mad at me for being here. I'm not even doing you anything. Away? You don't even eat food. What's wrong with you? Why'd you stand there? This an asshole over here. I, how much you wanna bet he isn't even made out of plastic? Like, come on. <laughs> At least I'm... get it right. What is going on with you, sir? Like... He was, like, holding his bag away from him, like, ew. <laughs> Serenade me, guitar man. Human music. A dollar to hear. Music with soul. <laughs> you saying robots don't have soul? I am saying that they are less likely to have so. <laughs> wow, that's offensive to me as a robot. <laughs> You're a robot now. I was thinking about it. You were thinking about becoming a robot? I mean, it would be so simple. <laughs> Cyborg did it. Cyborg did do it, but Cyborg will die at some point, and I'm not totally possible we can live forever like these guys can. He can probably live forever. He just gotta figure it out. That's all. Hello, lady. I mean, he, he had the option, like, at one point. Why are all their tablets, like, basically glass? I would have so much anxiety if my tablet was glass. Can I say that? Yeah. As anyone should. <laughs> As I should. <laughs> I still can't believe that the one thing you sent me that was glass survived beyond the, the other thing. I <laughs> know! How did I not break the glass thing? I don't know how you rough handled it so badly. I mean, I swear, it must have just gotten too cold. Like, the only- that's the only explanation I have. Let's check out these cyber life models. Hey, it's Daniel! Less homicidal, though. You know? I love the green uniform, though. That's so cool. The mid Way one? better than the blue. I'm so tired of technology being blue. <laughs> Green is a way better. Even the flamingo, like the pink, the purple, like that would have been great. <laughs> Lilac, let's do that. I'm so tired of blue. Yeah, it is intense a lot. I was watching people online yesterday that were critiquing like logo designs. Uh huh. And whenever they would change the color when they were redoing it, they would choose blue. Okay. And I was like, how basic. Can y'all get? These people out here are like staging a riot, and I'm seriously people sitting here people. like, no, this wouldn't happen in real life. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Looks too clean for a riot. Yeah, it's way too clean. Steal our jobs, but he can't even stand up. This isn't realistic at all. No. You're just gonna kick someone else's machine? That's fucked up. That's a laptop. You better be ready and willing to pay. Alright? 
You don't even know what kind of technology they have in there. Like, maybe it takes a sample from your shoe and tracks you, like, <laughs> cities away. Just to find out who damaged the machine. Don't do that! Like, why would you- This is clearly a high piece quality of machinery- Like, quality machinery right here. Yeah. If you damage it, I'll have to find you. Like, yeah, you will. Yeah. You probably have to find him already. He kicked it like twice. You damaged the clothing on it. That's fucked up. You're a little piece of shit. <laughs> Whatever will I have to do to go to the store and get better clothing for my Android? <laughs> you know how much that is? It's like sixty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Not counting New World like <laughs> inflation. Not inflated at all. Alright, go ahead. I think like stand. a jumpsuit, basically. But not. I hate it that cities look better in games than they do in real life. I know! They look like they're fun places to live. And then you go to yeah. an actual city, and it smells like a dumpster fire. And there's like yeah. trash everywhere. Uh... It looks so clean and polished in a game. It's way cleaner, like, to live in the country or something, like, yeah. where I live, there's rarely any trash. Yeah. But everybody always acts like it's, like, so clean in the city. It is not. <laughs> As a person who has visited the city of cities, it is not <laughs> It's terrible. Yeah, I only went to Austin, and Austin sucked, like. Austin was not clean in the slightest. Yeah. Did I send you, like, the whole... Um... Did I send you, like, the whole video? Like, it was, like, a minute long of, like, driving by a bunch of homeless people. And it's, like, a... I don't think so, but you did tell me about it. Oh. <laughs> And, man, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I just say that I hate the little ring that they have on the side of their head? Yeah. That is so unappealing. Can you imagine? Like, as a design. I think it's the only thing that they wanted to, like, make the humans and... I, I know the purpose behind it, I just think it looks awful. The androids distinguishable. But again, you could just make them wear clothing that is, you know, androids. I mean, I, yeah, they're already wearing clothing that signifies that they're an android. Apparently, and they can the only, argument. The whole thing about it is, like, the androids have to wear the clothing like this in the public, but they can wear actual normal clothing, like, right. in private. Yeah, so they could always take it off, but... I don't I, know I still feel like you could have given them something different, like, I don't know, a barcode on their wrist or something? Mm-hmm. But then they would be really touching on that whole, you know, different from us situation, the considering they had, like, the numbers and the Nazis. <laughs> it would be super did that close the to the Jewish stuff. <laughs> they already did that with the triangle, though. They did. So... I guess. They can't say that's too far, suddenly. Uh, they didn't want to be so on the nose. Got it. <laughs> well, I didn't want to put a barcode on them, because I figured that would just be <laughs> Really much. on the nose. Are all the kids just dressed how you want to dress perpetually? That's what I want to know. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at her before she ran off. We're gonna, okay. I definitely don't want to dress like her. Yeah, not Kara. Kara, like, no. Yeah. I don't know that their outfits look that great. Depends on what you mean. She looks like a maid. She but does. like a futuristic maid. I don't understand the purpose yeah, yeah. of the plastic on the front of her outfit. Like, what is that for? I don't know. Yeah. It this doesn't seem cozy. What is the band on her arm? The band on her arm? Yeah. You know, I don't know. Cause that seems odd to me. And you know, she's not like a new model. She's apparently somebody who had their whole 
Um, right. You know, everything was taken away. So uh -huh. for me, I'm like, well, how did she get this outfit? <laughs> Did they not, like, did they keep it? And then they were like, here you go. Or if she wore it when she got hit by the car, wouldn't it be messy? Like, <laughs> is the Android no shop that cleaned her up, like, is it also a dry cleaning shop? Maybe the material it's made out of is just really crazy washable. <laughs> Maybe so. It's super easy to upcycle your Android anything. Report to Todd. Oh look, it's her. Immediately goes under the table. <laughs> like a normal kid? She has such a cute toy. Too bad there's no option to steal it. <laughs> I... Are you okay over there? <laughs> I'm over here like, is he jerking it when his daughter is like... <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what's happening. But he does, you know, when he's over there, he kind of looks like Big Ed. Yeah, he does! <laughs> right? But his name is Todd, so it's Big Todd. Big Todd. <laughs> oh, riveting. We're doing the, the dishes. The worst part about being an android is having to wash the dishes. Honestly, I guess their fingers don't dry up as much as ours do, or what have you. I guess. Look at her. She's got those little highlights on the bottom of her jacket. Yeah. Did they just use the same, like, similar jacket models for all the kids? I guess so. Maybe that's just fashion for children in the future. Yeah. Did you see the text on her shirt? It looked Call. like it yes, kind of I faded in. Beer. Yeah. Right away. That's an interesting effect to leave in. Actually, he looks like Big Ed crossed with the guy from The Shining. What does he have in here? He has mayonnaise. It looks like pretend food, like you like you get for kids at the store. I guess so. Just a bunch of mayonnaise. Are you a mayonnaise dude? Here you go. Here's your beer. Yeah, look at how realistic the hockey is in the background. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. I... Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do. Just stand in front of the TV. See how long it takes for He's him to... He's gonna get pissed. Watch. ...do you out of the way. Out of the way, for fuck's sake! Like, see? why are you still here? Why are you in front of the TV? <laughs> he said, go eat your own ass. Yes, that's what he said. I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. Forbidden. Todd is watching TV. Forbidden. <laughs> that's what it said. <laughs> that's so funny. Honestly, they I feel like they could have expanded more on that in the game. Like, if you're forbidden to do something, like how hard it is then to do that. <laughs> Tidy Todd room, tidy Alice's room. Let's go see if we can talk to Alice. Sports! Android power! I don't think that the androids should be permitted in sports. It just doesn't seem like a thing. Yeah, it seems like fair. unfair for the rest of everybody else. You don't have android strength. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's a different league, like if you have an android league, then that's fine. <laughs> yeah. What's its name? Oh. Uh -huh. The name is. Silence. Nothing. 
She's like the only nice person in your house. Why don't you want to talk to her? <laughs> she's nice because she's an android. Because she has to be nice. Yeah, but I would still prefer that over somebody who doesn't have to be nice being a prick all the time. That's true. Like, if you want love, you want to get it from somewhere, you know? Uh, he's, like, super very much into sports, apparently. Um, yeah. Well, sports. kid, looks like you gotta get into sports or your dad will never love you. <laughs> All right. Sign up for football. Do it. Let's tidy this. He's got a bunch of albums. Because we're just going to pretend that listening to that type of music is only trendy at the current time and will continue yeah. to be trendy uh, in the future. <laughs> there went Alice. She got some chips over here. What up? <laughs> oh, it so sucks that you're an android and you can't enjoy them. I know. They can never enjoy food. It's like one of the best things you can do when you're alive. Eat. Right. If I was an android and I could eat and they left fries around, oh. <laughs> you wouldn't have them anymore. They'd be mine. Yeah. Sorry. Just gonna eat all the fucking... <laughs> so he got a gun in here. often beneficial. Often it'll ruin your life. This is the moment where she learns that Atlas is actually an android. Right. Which nobody else will know. And that's just so weird to me. Like, is there any evidence on her that indicates that she's an android? Um... No, there isn't, because he even got rid of the the thing on his, uh, on her little, the little circle on her face. Like, he even got rid of that. So weird. How did he do that, and is that even legal? Well, the mo model he bought. Yes, you can do that for, like, people. Oh. KNC... So yeah, it is le legal to 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 a point. That's so strange. I mean, I kind of get it because the androids are prejudiced. Like, there's people prejudiced against them. Yeah. But at the same time, like, <laughs> you would think that it you have to know which one is an android and which one isn't. You would think. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Odd how your android child is so scared, though. You would think that wouldn't even be in the programming. You would think. But apparently you can turn off and turn on the functions that, like, um, for her, make it so that she can feel cold and fear and things right. like that so that you have more close to human baby. Yeah. I want to have a child. I want her to just constantly be afraid. <laughs> Why even do this? Like, Todd, you're not kid. even a good dad. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> hey, Alice. Looking what like it do? Maid. How you be? You drawing on Looks the like walls? Ionic eye when you walk in the darkness on the side of your head. <laughs> Hello, child. That isn't Wonderland. a child. Alice in Wonderland, of course. That's probably where you wish you were right now, huh? 
because you got adopted by a weird abusive person, huh? Somebody needs to clean this roof. You have a hand droid and the first thing you do is apparently not make her, like, clean the whole roof. <laughs> <laughs> I would make her clean the roof. <laughs> Todd's out here like, no, clean my room. Leave her room a mess. She doesn't deserve to have a clean room. You know who deserves to have a clean room? Not fucking her. <laughs> Not the child. Let's see if we can have a conversation with her. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Hi, Maybe child. Your father said you chose my name. Card. It's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. Oh, look, I'm suddenly you trusted. Know. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. You're very quiet. Okay. I hope I don't scare you. Here's a key! <laughs> and she runs away. I'm going to run now. Goodbye. <laughs> if I've ever seen any plot relevant action ever committed, it was that. <laughs> like, you couldn't just talk to her, you gave her a key, and then you ran away. Very much so, that's what happened. So here's a clover. There's Todd with his real children and his real wife who left him because he's a deadbeat. Before you looked like Big Ed. Here's a drawing of Alice, bleeding on her head, I guess, from when he took the thing out, even though Ow. it's supposed to be something you can take out painlessly. Just decided to whack it out of her. And then he's holding her hand. I and looking very upset. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so she's getting more stars on her. She looks sad. He came and he like touched her face and she was like, no. No, stop touching my face. I don't <laughs> like it. And then she was not together anymore. Ow. And then you cried a lot. <laughs> I mean, I guess you would cry when you witnessed what was basically a murder. Yeah. Also, like, Todd, he had bills. We cleaned them up earlier, meaning he's in debt. Why he going out and buying, like, two androids? This doesn't make sense. Hold on, there was something yeah. over here. It makes you wonder, like, did he get an android and imagine it's his wife so he could punish his wife for leaving him? Probably. That seems like something fucked up that Todd would do. Yeah. Fucking Todd. <laughs> Jeez, Todd. Coming down the stairs. Why don't you clean yourself up and, you know, have a good life. <laughs> what are you doing? I I'm playing. I'm playing. Playing games, Todd. That's what's happening. How you do, how you be, how you is. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. This really seems like you're projecting, Don't you think Todd. I tried to make things work? Uh, you're really definitely, yeah, projecting. Along, they just fuck it all up! 
She's not your real kid, okay? Like, they're not judging you. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! They installed tear ducts into that oh. child. What am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing? That's weird as hell. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cut you your know hair. I love you, don't you? <laughs> you know I love you. You know I love you. <laughs> That's why I attack you and do horrible things. That's not, that's why I pretend that you're my family who left me you and abused you my in your place. That left me. That's why I have to abuse you. Yeah, it's really sad. I think before they let you get androids, they should have made you get some therapy. <laughs> that should be like a requirement. You can't purchase yeah. this laptop until you have therapy. <laughs> this is such the kind of laptop that you don't need to abuse, okay? <laughs> Welcome home, Marcus. Marcus! Welcome to the house, Marcus! What is them. debatably, undebatably, the best part of the game? <laughs> this part? Yeah. And then after it is like all downhill from it there. <laughs> I'm guessing you've seen all the playthroughs or something? I've seen parts. I wouldn't say I've seen all of it. Cause... Why do you have android birds? Why not? I mean, it just seems like a lot to have an android bird. They just live forever, you know? I'm going you don't have to live. worry about them flying away. Yeah. I guess. I'm making too much noise. <laughs> just sounds like I hate birds. I love <laughs> birds. I'm just saying that they're very customizable. <laughs> they're customizable when they're androids, and they never die, <laughs> so you don't have to. You don't have to grieve over your birds. Yeah, that's pretty. Nice. And I don't like grieving over anything, so. Things that I don't want to do, grieve, when my bird inevitably <laughs> dies. We got all these books. The North Pole, why Russia wants it. I don't actually care, I'm just opening it up for the- They told me that's fake news. <laughs> Life Russia found doesn't on really China. want the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> why would Russia want the North Pole? <laughs> Let's go and spin this bad boy. Beep. That was like the, the Russian weakest papers. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's going on over here? <coughs> beep beep. What a beautiful Such song you just played. Trauma. He's just standing there wibble wobbling. <laughs> but you can see that since the highest intensity of emotion, David Cage has been able to capture the keenness of a room in a video game. I have to clean up for this guy. Why do all the androids do the cleaning? Why is this such an integral part of being Android. Well, I understand in this case because the guy isn't like capable of doing everything, but yet. But all of the androids we've touched so far, except for Connor, has been cleaning. Yeah. And Connor probably still would clean if he had to. <laughs> True. It's like, hey, Connor, just uh, clean up the office, will ya? Thanks. I know that's not your job, but do it anyway. <laughs> I'm cleaning before he even gets down here, just to streamline the process. <laughs> Poor
What a great life, honestly. I don't even know why you would leave it. He doesn't want to. I know. <laughs> I know he doesn't want to. Why can't you rewind time? That's why isn't that a function you that you've been given, Connor? <laughs> Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same to me. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> this is infinitely cooler in many ways. You think regard. Marcus is cooler than Connor? For most of the game, probably. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Connor's cooler than Marcus. <laughs> just <laughs> Connor's I told you, I didn't best. see every playthrough. I just know that Marcus came from a great place, so I assume that he's probably cool. He is cool, <laughs> but you know who's cooler? Connor! <laughs> team Connor, Team Marcus. <laughs> Where the By the end of this game, I'm probably gonna change my mind and be like, wow, you really let me down, Marcus. <laughs> I'm not gonna I say that he was cool. a bad character, though. He was like, the two males have the more interesting part of the story. Yeah, by far. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Good morning. Guy, Carl. It's 10 a.m. Weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. This sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Don't you love talking about the weather? I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I forgot. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You it's a good thing that he's forget. there to pick up your paint. You'd never get anything done. For real, though. Me your arm, please, Carl? No. Carl? But what I want to know is, you. when he went to pick up the paint, didn't he only get, like, one pigment? I think that I, I I have to assume that it has to be one pigment, man. right? Yeah. They break down so quickly. So do you just will you just low on that pigment? <laughs> Probably. He's a really rich, famous artist. Yeah. What happened to your clothes? It looked so weird. The paint store itself looked so weird. It was like a lot of colors, though. I would yeah. love to work for a paint store. <laughs> I mean, it reminds me more of like a home paint store home. rather than an artist just paint just store. Mm. I'm fine. It kind of does have that feel. Yeah. But some artists actually like to go and get the paint from the other yeah. places. So. It's true. Yeah, there's artists that do that. Although a lot of them are m mural painters rather than uh. Anything else? All he's ever wanted was to be carried by a big strapping young man. <laughs> and haven't we all? <laughs> can't blame him. Really can't. A little bit terrifying. Oh, I love that room. I just want to live here. <laughs> this would be a great place to live. This is the place for you. <laughs> Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. This room, this house gave me such high expectations. To your <laughs> but Nothing what? else could compare, you I see. Yet. We'll see about that you later. really just Come swam on. with the whole thing, huh? Just your usual email. <laughs> I've already answered. Hmm. Look how fast he came down the stairs. No, Carl. Well, he's got to be on the bottom so that I can get him out. No. You know. <laughs> no, don't bother. He's really good at doing his job. Well, lucky for you, Carl. I already prepared your food. Bonus.
bon appetit. It's eggs and bacon. Television. Oh. He's just like the son you never had in me. He's a son who you never had, who does everything you ask him to. Who <laughs> does everything for you. Yeah. Without arguing. Because you have another kid who is a list. little shit, let's sure. be frank. <laughs> okay, cool. The obedient good child, if you will. Yeah. What a good child. What? Go ahead and play. Find something to do. Piano. See, look at this. This is the best job. Sometimes he just tells you to find something to do. I'm sure this sounds go. amazing, but I can't hear it. You can't hear it? Well, that's just because I turned it down. Um. It's beautiful. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I want an encore. Not long because it stopped <laughs> as soon as you said something. It really did. Sometimes I think you have more humanity. Wow, I can't believe you're complaining about him being good at piano. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. Okay, but can you like this remove the thing on the side of his head more. first? <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you. If I'm correct, he ordered a special custom um, Android, so nobody else has this model because he's very much unique. Right. But no, for real, you just gonna turn him loose on the streets like that? Because uh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be all up and doing that. Like, people on the streets, they hate androids. They are tear him apart. They literally punched him the second you turned away. Yeah. Like, don't do that. <laughs> I doubt he can own your house. Like, I don't think they have android rights in inheritance, you know? Yeah, I mean, unless you can convince everybody he's not an android somehow. Yeah, so... Remove the sheet. It's the one thing I have to critique you on, old man. <laughs> you really should have put some effort into thinking about make... what's going to happen to him. I live comfortably, you know. Wait for Carl's instructions. I will wait here, then. Oh, that's why you needed so much blue. <laughs> yeah, this is why he needed so much blue. He's making a painting. Except he has like zero blue on his palette over there. He really doesn't have any blue. He's got, like, got weirdly a blue. lot of amount of red, but like no blue. Like you would think that'd be the one thing that you'd focus on as an animator, whether he has blue in his palette. For the blue thing he's painting. <laughs> like, you were so specific, it had to be blue. <laughs> Furthermore, like, his paint was just out. Like, it wasn't 
It was probably so, dry. Are we positive? Yeah. <laughs> sort of market. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you have an opinion on it, Marcus? We're gonna say we don't I'm like it. Not a very good judge. I. I don't think it's your best work. The truth I don't think it's I your have best work. To say anymore. <laughs> goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. How dare you make him sad about his <laughs> art? <laughs> I'm sorry. <How> <laughs> Painting what? Anything. It's all he's got. <laughs> okay, I will take your palette that very clearly has no paint on it except dry paint. And I will figure out what to paint. I don't remember what he paints, but... It would probably be so mechanical. It is gonna be mechanical. Cause yeah. I ordered him to paint the desk. That is a perfect copy. Wow, yeah. In reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting and improving on it. Showing something you see. Carl, I don't do that if I <laughs> so we're here like, I don't know, Carl. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not in my software. <laughs> I don't know how to interpret and just make it something I don't really see, but I also see because you said I see it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure I can do it, Carl. Like, I thought what I saw was real, fam. I don't know. Okay, closing my eyes. Doesn't exist. Something you've never seen. Now <laughs> He's out here like trying to imagine something you've never seen that isn't real. My brain like, okay, what about a lion that is mostly a snake? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> he draws a perfect copy of an image of a lion that is mostly a snake that he's seen on Google. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about androids and let's do it with... Hope or fate? I want to see what fate interpretation's like. Oh, so he's painting with his eyes closed. That's some way of not really knowing what you're doing at all. <laughs> Let me just pretend I'm a cat. <laughs> What if he opened his eyes and it was a perfect copy of something else? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn. How did you do that, first of all? <laughs> first of all, you're yeah. being able to see the future at this point in time. Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> That's weird. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. How about you go while, home? Right? How about you go away? Hey, loser no, dude. What it do? How you be? How you no, is? So oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, I need some cash, man. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't you know. know. Again, <laughs> no. No, no, I swear. It's Marcus not looks like he's peeping in on what something. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer's no. The what? answer's why? no. You know why. You know why. You know. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. It's because you spent it all on crack. You'd rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son. No, right? it's because you're a crack addict. Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? Uh, Smarter? Yeah, I am. More uh, obedient? Yeah, I am. Me, right? yeah. You know what? Yeah, this basically. Thing is not your son. That's right, it's because I'm a better than your son. No, that's enough. Enough. He's not ungrateful. 
He's do he doesn't have an attitude. <clears throat> You're a little perp. You've never loved anyone. A little booey. That's what you are. If you love me, you would let me have your money. Why? So you can send it on crack? You know what? I am smarter. I am more obedient. And I'm not a crack addict. So that's three for three. I'm Breastfeed my oh. child. <laughs> Not only when they coming up to me with the gooster, I slap my dick down and say, nope, nah, -uh, not today, Satan. I make sure they know that I ain't playing. And then I whip out my gun. <laughs> I go, bang, bang, bang. Uh, 2038 is too soon, man. Yeah, I know. There's no way we're getting androids this streamlined in society by that point in time. Why do they always do that? <laughs> they make it so soon. <laughs> Stop making it so soon. Maybe, maybe three, the year three thousand, huh? When we live underwater. Yeah, when we live underwater. Maybe that's why they couldn't. They didn't want to make it an underwater story. <laughs> they were like, the Jonas Brothers won't appreciate this interpretation. <laughs> No, obviously the Jonas Brothers are right. We are going to live underwater, but how are we going to make the story <laughs> underwater? It doesn't work. Not much has changed, but we live underwater. <laughs> That's him. We'll say that Connor has way more interesting gameplay. Doesn't he? Hey, yo, what up? <laughs> My name is the oh, I like this guy. I, I remember like this guy. Where you were. Yeah. I said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? He must have like a hundred charisma. This evening, a homicide involving a Connor. Android. Yeah. In he does. The the company has allocated a His charisma is up the ass. If we're on it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially not from a plastic asshole like. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. He seems to okay, consistently hey, understand. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off the board. I dirty. Like an empty beer can. <laughs> I'm comfortable enough to crush you in the ball of my hand. Stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. All right, let me just not finish my beer. Let's buy him another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. Do that, Jim. Wonders of technology. Make it a double. <laughs> Wonders of technology. <laughs> just buy you drinks. <laughs> he liked that. You <laughs> just... I liked that about you. <laughs> you were willing like to pay you were willing to <laughs> get him closer to his deathbed. Did you say homicide? The face rig, the guy who they rigged his face off, is so handsome. <laughs> uh -huh. Should you be driving, sir? You did just drink a lot. Charlie, what do you want, babe? You wait here. Who do you want, babe? Huh? Hi. Connor, why did you let him drive? My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here. So you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Let me just tick him off. I'm not confirming anything. I ain't confirming shit. I piss lost. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. That's a change in tune. Part of staying in the car, didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Not even a hack? We 
were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, what do you want, babe? Boy, huh? What Not do you want? Funny. Just tell me what. Can't you see that I'm in the middle of gameplay? Can't you see that? Even this trash heap of a yard looks better in video game form. <laughs> This is what real cities look like right here. <laughs> smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. It looks so oh. glossy. Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft. What do you need, baby boy? Assault. Really? To the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. I am alive. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't look like you were alive. <laughs> Be right back. All right, Charlie, you win. I'll take you out. Come take on. me with you. You want to go watch that, bud? Let's take you out now. Don't leave me yeah. here. I'm trapped in the box. Oh. Get me out. Oh, sorry, Oh, Sam. no. You want to go out, too? Uh, uh. Not much has changed, but we live underwater. I like how half of your body is pressed against the, sc the screen. Is doing fine. <laughs> the tracking on this is impeccable. I took that opportunity to get food. I know. <laughs> Did you see the way it tracked you on the VTube thing? Mm-mm. How did it, track it was like half of your body was like pressed against the screen, <laughs> like max zoom. It's not still showing that, is it? No, no, you're you're back. It's it was just funny because it left off where you got up, I guess. Oh, okay. So it was like you got um right arm, right titty, <laughs> and that was it. Okay. Out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. He's been there for three weeks. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break? Probably. In? Uh, nope. Probably, huh? The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. He said not to touch anything. What are you gonna do, you back prick? Back. Touch Who everything? <laughs> Much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Mm. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home, I guess. Alright, I'll, I'll make myself at home. No finger problem. I mean, I would guess it's Android because there was. I am alive on the wall. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. <laughs> I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> don't just stick things in your mouth, son, okay? <laughs> oh, fucking hell again, bitch. He's out here like, what the flippity dip? I didn't know I should have been kicking like, you know? in the world just sticks blood in their mouth, you know? <laughs> Animal androids. <laughs> Each letter is perfect. Wait then again, I guess it wouldn't question. be cannibalism, because it's not eating your own kind. What is it, then? Uh huh? Is it just... Chris, is this written... Cannibalism? Within the victim's blood? Yeah. But I would say hmm. so. We're taking samples for analysis. I mean, I was saying that it probably wouldn't be cannibalism because if you're eating your own kind, that's what cannibalism is. But what would it be then? Just... I guess it would be nice. eating your creator, but I don't know if there's a word for that. <laughs> Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Dried blood. 
dries blood again. This is a shitty place to live. Yeah, you should have seen it in its heyday. This guy's really about Android sex officially better. Sorry ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Android sex is the result of our I system. can't believe that that's what it actually says. 68% <laughs> of men prefer sex with an android to real women. And 52% of men say they've tried the experience at least once. That's a lot of android love to go around. Hold on, so half of the people... Half of can the we just, Can we just respect the fact that there is a devil tail on the logo? <laughs> it's called Eden with a devil tail. Like, that is so anti-god. Like, the whole thing <laughs> is completely <laughs> against god. <laughs> There were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reasons. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterward. <gasps> Imagine being so bad. <laughs> like the worst kind of guy ever. Like you can't even handle feelings, you know? Like two seconds of feelings, you just can't, you check out. That's what happens sometimes. Like, man, grow up. <laughs> Is your android spying on you? I mean, maybe. Probably. They're probably, they're probably looking at you a lot. <laughs> probably because you own them and they live in your house. Why are these two couples? Like, your android spying on you is automatically with android sex. <laughs> <laughs> Your android knows you've been seeing other androids. <laughs> okay, there's a missing knife. Oh, I already just picked that up. Is your go. android spying on you? Probably. There's fingerprints, so that means the human threw it. It did not interact with the android, probably. Just walk into the path of the man taking pictures. There's a dent. The deviant took the knife. The deviant was attacked with the bat. glitter get on my cheese? I don't know, but was that a train? No. I feel like I heard a train. The door was locked from the inside. Until I must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Defiant did not escape. That means he's still here. You know, this doesn't really reasonably make sense. He's just hiding in the rafters somewhere. Yeah, like, why would he not, like, go through the front door and just make a run for it? 
And we didn't want to be tracked. I'm an android, but I'm not a smart one. <laughs> I was programmed to be dumb. <laughs> it was programmed to be stupid. He had three weeks to get away. What's keeping the car? The stupid meter was dragged all the way up. Boop a doo. Just cuts into the body and hides inside it. <laughs> They'll never notice. They'll never know. They could never tell. That looks awful. Straight out of a zombie game. <laughs> what Detroit Begun hand? Zombie is the sequel. Okay, so he has an aggravated assault record. Yeah. The victim was stabbed. Sure did travel some ways, didn't you? They came to the kitchen, and he just kept going to town. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. 28 times. I am alive. Cyber life sand. That, that really gives it away. <laughs> it's like it's an exact cyber life sands, you know? What do you know, No Connor? person could have done that. That's in cyber life sands. Way to make it easy to oh, report yeah. an android murder. <laughs> it all started in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to. It was a train. The living room. Living... If we know that he attacked the, um, with the knife, if he attacked the android, so it's like an aggravated assault and he has an aggravated assault history, can we really call this like a homicide? Can we really call him a victim at this point? No, but I. Yes, they're gonna make the argument that because he was an android, he didn't have rights, but that's stupid, so... We can just fix you, you're an android. Search for blue blood. Amazing, it's everywhere. So easy to see. What this is. When your house is so dirty, the implant of the fucking, um... 
<laughs> when your house is so dirty, the implant of the ladder is there when you move it. Uh huh. Obsessive writing. R A 9. Well, that's not in Sans. That isn't in Sans. So, would we argue the human did it? Because it was yeah. definitely the android. Yeah. These two people lines so of logic are offering? no longer lining up. Traces led to the attic. Go grab you a chair, babe. If you look out here, like, uh, don't touch anything. Hey, hey, Takes hey, the chair. With that chair. I'm going to check and you think that's just okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, you can take the chair. It didn't matter to anything. <laughs> it was just a part Only of the crime the scene. the fact that it was part of a crime scene, yeah. <laughs> It'll be okay. What do you mean, search addict? Like, isn't there like a <laughs> shadow right here? What more do you need? Why do they always have like oh. the creepy mannequins? I don't know, no creepy mannequin. mannequin. Like, why is this a regular part of the household item that people apparently have? I have no idea. You probably should have brought something to defend yourself. Do you have a, a, a household mannequin in your home? Hmm? No. I didn't think so. Neither do I. I have a disembodied mannequin head, but... <laughs> Why do you have that? <laughs> so that I can do the hair on it, obviously. <laughs> what, everybody doesn't own one? No. <laughs> He came out like he was about to jump me. Why didn't he you did. take a shower? Okay, I hear you. Okay, He's gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell me. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant. Holy shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. You really did try to appeal to the humanity in an android, though. You should have known yeah. better. <laughs> should have known a little better. Like, uh, his orders from whoever gave him orders, like, they really matter more than hers. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Bo. I don't even think he physically could go against that. Mm mm. Hi, child. That is so awkward. I do not want to be waking up by an android. <laughs> no matter how gentle she is, right? Yeah, like that's freaky. Too used to being alone. Too used to familiar faces. Weird. <laughs> Weird. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Here's spaghetti.
when this game first came out, weren't people talking about how like she didn't eat I anything? Saw. But he doesn't eat anything here either. Mm-hmm. I lost my job. Like he puts his arm over it. <laughs> it's like it's not even there. He's hiding the fact that he's not eating anything. I'm too smart for you. You're an android too. It's the secret. They're trying to hide it from me. Now the real question is, do I want to let Kara live this round? I'm like not wanting to play through her. Nah, just stay. Just stay at home. Just let him kill her. Just, just let him do whatever. Cause she's like the least interesting person in this game. I don't know. I mean, I guess it would be more interesting to leave than to stay. Cause like, it's just the same old, same old. <laughs> Not the life you dreamed of, eh? When you think this is easy. I don't know, man. Like, you got some pretty good spaghetti right now. I don't think you're appreciating yourself you enough for having good drugs, spaghetti. Joe. Sometimes you really scare it's me, Don. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. Yes. Daddy, no. Daddy, no. Oh my god. We really are in The Shining. Stay there. Don't you dare look at me or I'll bust you worse than last time. It's okay, Kara. You can still move. <laughs> Everybody knows that you can break the barrier thing. Isn't it just like that series that Connor dealt with? Conflicting orders, uh -huh. selecting priority. Daddy's very mad! Daddy's about to be trapped in the freezer if he doesn't stop. I'm coming! I'm on my way, babe! I'm a coming! I'm a gonna be a good mom! Don't you ever you touch my you? child! an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. I should have grabbed the gun. What do you mean? Just grab the gun. It's there. You, you can get it. You just a goddamn <laughs> piece of I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Got the wrong button. Okay, that ought to do it.
ahead, just keep going, run and keep going. Yeah, I think you're all right. <laughs> He's probably got a concussion. He'll be out in a second. <laughs> go, go, go. Do you have to obey me? You're mine. The one non racist um, bus driver. Yeah, good thing no one was actually on there. Mm-hmm. They would have never gotten away. They would have been like, hold up! There's an android entering where all the people are supposed to be. <laughs> but also, would they rip an android from a child? Like, would do they get to like, be with the actual children? Then again, yeah, I guess they couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. They would probably think that the other parent told the android to take the child and go. Mm -hmm. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. I care about art. <laughs> all I care about is how much money they Bailing make out here, art. taking everything Carl says personally. Come on, let's have a drink over there. <laughs> I so care about art, sir. <laughs> You're just entertaining the wrong people, okay? <laughs> And that's stinky, thank you. <laughs> Stop being a stinker. Scott, <laughs> Stop being a stinker, stinky. Okay, but well, you know what your doctor would say. We're just yeah, never gonna get used to calling each other by the name. No. <laughs> Did you read the I like those skulls in the here? background. Mm -mm. No. No, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Why they, um, arrest? Why would we go check it out, sir? That sounds like a terrible idea. Marcus, just wait I'll, for the police. I'll come with you. He says, I want to come with you. You're in danger. You're in All da due respect, you're an old man. I love you, and, if and you're not bit... going in there, alright? <laughs> Sucks that you can't go against your programming, huh, Marcus? Mm -hmm. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Oh, Leo. you're going to steal his work so you can make money, huh? What's going on? Mm-hmm. You refuse to help me, so I'm helping for myself. For your fucking crack! It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment. Not with that there. attitude. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here! Make him leave. Listen. You should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes you so special anyway, huh? Hey, I want you to know, kid. I will kill you before I let Carl die. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? I don't blame you. Don't do anything. Don't defend yourself. He says. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. This is not fair. Too much of a pussy. This is not fair. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. The way he delivers. Look at how mean he wants.
wants to be to this little shit. I mean, can you blame him? Like, he's picking on your dad, basically. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. I will kill you. Piece of yeah, I'm gonna kill you. No, you can no, leave. He's, no, you're giving your dad a heart attack. What kind of laugh was that? <laughs> There's no way that no would have killed him. Leo. Oh my god. I don't know. It was pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Leo. My little boy, Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, no. No, please, I don't want to leave you. Please, I can't. I don't want to leave you. Get out! Get out of here! Go! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! He looks so happy on the screen about this. <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Been waiting for that to happen all day. I'm just really glad, you know, that I killed the kid. The first time I played, I I killed the dad on accident. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad the dad lived. <laughs> what happened before you took that knife? There's hope for you re reuniting later. Yeah. As he has life? his real son, you know, the mm -hmm. the real good son, the, the good one. Say something, goddammit! it! Say something, gosh jiggity darn it! Fuck it, I'm out of here. Send the android in. <laughs> Make him do the interrogation. I don't want to feel. I don't feel like doing it. We're neutral we with Hank right now? I thought he liked us. Nothing out of it. You always try rough her up a little. After all. Why is that your answer to everything? Like, let's Andrew hurt the cool. android who can't feel it pain. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? What shall we do then? I, I don't know. What do we do in normal situations? <laughs> Maybe if we treat the android like a human. Huh? <laughs> Perhaps we will Go get ahead. somewhere. Hmm? Mayhaps if we care about its situation, <laughs> like we do with other people. <laughs> Mayhaps. Who talk. fucking knows? I'm just, you know, speaking out of my ass here. Maybe if we care. <laughs> Y'all are little turds, that's what you are. Hey yo, what's up? I know I sold you out earlier, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't, like, go against my orders, you know? The only other thing that would have made this funnier is, like, if he had, like, twisted the seat around and sat on it like a, like a football coach in front of, like, a student. You know right. the way they do it. Dry blood. Why didn't you clean yourself up, man? You are not good at murder. Obviously, it's not. He hid up there for like weeks. You don't know shit about murder, my dude. <laughs> I say, like, I killed someone or something. <laughs> Got away with it, too. No. <laughs> Burn marks. Uh, no wonder he lashed out. No wonder he finally went crazy. 
reach optimal stress for confession. Although what I don't understand is if you don't feel pain, like, why would you care? That's true. I mean, I guess if they made you get super offended over aesthetic damage to your body, but I doubt it. I think that that is not true, that they must feel pain. Because they also feel emotion when they're not supposed to feel. Yeah. So. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. refuse to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. They'll do things the that hard way. Is that what you want? Huh? Huh? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Alright. Let's get you in that little bit of stress area a little bit more. to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you followed me? Because I'm an android. Why couldn't you just have left me? Because I'm an android. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. He don't want to die, Connor. He doesn't want to die, man. <laughs> I... I can't. We do not want him to self-destruct. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Me neither, I wouldn't have- feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him, again and again and again. Please, please leave me alone. All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Everything is going to be okay. We just want to keep sure that he's in that level of stress we want him to be in. I understand how No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Confess and I'll protect you. He's giving so different. This is such a, a weird. <laughs> like he's jumping around like. Eh, what do I care? But I'll protect you. <laughs> <laughs> there was always something wrong. Then one day, you took a bat and started killing me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared. Scared you might destroy me. Scared I might. Into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times. <laughs> he had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have done it, I bet you you would have done the same. <laughs> Sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To all it nine. 
Who's RA9? Only RA9 can say this. Who's RA9? Okay, but that still doesn't explain RA9. why it wasn't in it was uh, Cyber Life Sands. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. RA9. Who is RA9? Who is RA9? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? They used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. you hide in the attic instead of running away i didn't know what to do for the first time there was no one there to tell me to do i was scared you were scared so you stayed in the attic so for three weeks with blood still all over you instead of taking a shower at least the confession so i did my job so i don't have to worry about you anymore all that stuff about protecting you i didn't mean it i didn't mean shit sorry fam peace they're gonna disassemble you you'll never know know a thing otherwise it'll be fine all right let's go leave me alone don't touch me don't touch him what the fuck are you doing you shouldn't touch it it'll self-destruct if it feels threatened stay out of this got it no fucking android's gonna tell me what to do you don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. Oh, I Hank. Said, That's enough. He pulled a gun on you. That's right. You're putting a gun at it. It's a very with that, expensive huh? laptop. That's it. <laughs> An expensive laptop that he likes now. So get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Goodbye. That's right. <laughs> Better than you. He knows what he's doing. Clearly. It's okay. The truth is inside. What an ominous thing to say. <laughs> the truth is inside. <laughs> In my gut? After I eat? I don't eat. So, I guess that's not it. We could have died there. Could have died. Could have died. Like, that was one of the endings where you died for sure. Like, if you didn't yeah. live, you could have died. And if you weren't careful, the android could have self-destructed and you couldn't have gotten anything. Yeah. Oh, we're car again. Exactly where we wanted to be. Who we want to be. Not really. Mm -mm. I should have let her die. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We saved the kid. We saved and that the android child. That's important to us. We love we love saving kids. Alright. End the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave.
She's so gentle about waking her up. My family would have just taken me and shaken me. Like, <laughs> get up! Get up! We're leaving! We gotta go! Get going! Move it or lose it! It'll be fine. You probably don't have an aversion to water, do you? Nah. Too advanced for that. Too fancy of a laptop. Gonna be okay. Why does she I talk so it's softly? Nice. It's annoying. It's gonna be okay. Okay, it's okay. gonna be alright. Little baby. Little baby. Let's go rob a store Come together. <laughs> Let's go rob a store. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you what it's like to be a person who needs to survive. That's right. At any cost. <laughs> who knows? We might murder a guy. Why can't we stay in the laundry mat? That's what I want to know. All right, let's see what we can get at the laundry mat. Why mat's can't book. you sleep there? Yeah, I mean, seriously, why can't we be at the laundry mat all time? It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. I just think it's so weird, like, just because it's open 24-7, you can't sleep there. Like, find a shelf and lay on it. Like, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> just put her on top of the, like, everything. Just put her on top of it all. It's gonna be warm because people are washing their clothes. Like, just... <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? Yes, we the fuck can! Sorry. <laughs> the six feet under. Alice is like, I don't like that. I don't like that we even. This man fell asleep with his tablet in his hands. This man, this man wanted to be robbed. Let's be honest. Beeline disaster. So I guess the bees are finally extinct in this series. Where are you going, Alice? You just sleep on top of the dryer. If he wakes up, I'll just tell him, you know? Sorry. Very convenient that he had clothing in your size. It's 4.30. 
forty dollars. No. How androids are allowed. We're not going in. We can't, Alice. We don't have any money. We have to find forty dollars. Let's go rob a store together. Let's somewhere else. <laughs> Let's go rob a store. We've already committed We've already to being thieves. Let's just go the whole nine. Some people be out here acting like, you know what? I would never rob from people if I was in desperate need. And I'd be like, you're a liar. You're lying to everybody in here. Comfort Alice? Alice? What you doing, babe? Where did you go? Who knows? You know what's weird? What? I went to the Detroit Be Become Human page oh, for Twitch, so right? Cool. Right. I'm okay. And I I'm looked for so viewers cool. low to high, and I'm not seeing you at all. Really? Go. Yeah. I mean, it, you'll show if I click the VTuber tag, but if I'm just looking for videos without anything, it doesn't show you at all. Really? Yeah. I've got it up, set up so that you should be able to see me on the Detroit Become Human tag. Yeah, I don't know why it's not showing. Let me see. I'm gonna go back to Twitch real quick. But you may want to add more tags. Like if what? If you can. I don't know. Hmm. Edit stream info. We're gonna go to... So yeah, right now your adventure game, puzzle... Mystery VTuber English. Um, there is nothing in the Detroit. It's not letting me do the Detroit Become Human thing. Huh. Twitch tag. And the thing about it is, that, like, it acts kind of weird. Mm hmm Like, I can't, uh... actually put in a tag of my own. Huh. It has to be a tag that people use. Right. So, I guess I can't put in Detroit Become Human, even though I put in, literally, the game Detroit Become Human. Right. I don't know what to do. I mean, you could put in single player. Single you player? You could put in role play. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, yeah, I think that's really what you have to do, is you have to, like, tag bomb. Okay. I have to s just tag bomb. Out here getting your name in all the tags. Because otherwise you get buried. You can only select can only up to five tags at the same time. Oh, that sucks.
Well, I've changed it anyway. Okay. I've added a little bit more tags than what I had, so hopefully that Yeah. Helps. Hopefully. And we could try... Is there any other person playing Detroit Become Human or no? Oh yeah, there's plenty of people playing. Oh. That's why I was, I was looking through it and I was like, wow, it takes a while just to get to you if you're looking through the VTuber tag. Ooh. And then, of course, you're not even on the regular Detroit Become Human Look, page. Look, still open. Maybe we should go inside. That's so At weird. We'll be out of the cold. Yeah, I just have no idea why. It might be because I had the key state. It normally puts normally. in the game that I'm supposed to be playing on my own. If, if but I'm restreaming, so that might be the reason and the cause. Oh yeah, maybe. Uh, actually, you're up there now. I am. Oh, yeah, you are now. Okay. okay. Well, that fixed that, and you're actually not that far down for this, so that's good. Okay. Well, good. Because, yeah, I was worried that you weren't getting people because of something that Twitch wasn't listing you on or whatever. Good. Okay. So, LB. So, at least you're there now. Good. Cookies. I want cookies. But I don't have food. <laughs> I don't have money to pay for the food. What else? What else? Who else? You, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm poor. Can I help you? What if I was just like, nah. I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store lady, not the Salvation Army. Not the Salvation Army. I'm sorry. Cash to every bum in the neighborhood. What I will say is that I've never met a mean convenience store person. Like, not even once. Yeah. I've always- Why would you call her a bum? Like, yeah. come on. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna... They're not even dressed like bums, to be honest. They're not. What, are we gonna just throw the lemon at the guy? What? I hope not. <sighs> <laughs> This is how I feel about you. You're sour. That's why you call me a bum, you slut. <laughs> it's weird that there's a graphic on the fro frozen food section. Oh, that looks like a real candy bar that totally would get sold. <laughs> the packaging on some of these is really awful. You really are just standing in front of the camera acting like that's normal. We're just being thieves all day up in here. I'm surprised he didn't like kick you out knowing that you don't have any money. Like you're just operating on faith that she's not stealing things right now. Ooh, look at all these accessories. Why can't I take any of these? Just give me all of them. Uh, just give me the hammer? <laughs> I can't eat a hammer. So why did you take food anyway? Can she- can she even eat? I thought she couldn't. She can't. So, like, what's the point? I don't trust you. That's a terrible idea. I don't like that you're encouraging her to do bad things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sitting. care what situation you're in, man. Pretend to be looking at the pet food real quick. You didn't even really knock down all of them. Like, it's just kind of a pile there. You alright? Are you hurt? 
So don't worry. It's just a few can. I like how you took all of one bill. I know, right? <laughs> Now we're gonna call the Popo. Fuck. So did you notice immediately that she stole we something? Have some cash now? You used me to steal that money. How could you do Who, that? Me? I trusted Who, you. Me? No, I mean did he figure yeah. out that you stole yeah. something immediately? He did. Yeah. That's so weird. Choice. It was the only way, Alice. It wasn't. It's the best way. <laughs> it was the best way. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the it only was way, but it was the best was way. We're a terrible influence on this child. Let's keep exploring, exploring. for a little bit. We took money, money, so now we have money. Reasons why Sutan should not be a parent. Go knock down a bunch of cans for me, babe! <laughs> That's all I need from you. Steal for mama. Do it. There's nothing more this way. <laughs> Steal for mama, please. Make the ultimate display of trust. You know, it might have been that the game was not recognizing it, uh, or Twitch may not have been recognizing it as a... Uh, Detroit become human because sometimes it takes a little into the gameplay before it starts recognizing it. Right. So that's probably what I don't happened. know. We were playing for a long time though. Yeah, we were. But I mean, like, the actual level design might not have been recognized for a period. Hi. Huh. That's weird. Hi. I like a room. That'll be $40. Just need your name and address. Well, you better come up with some fake ass name, babe. There is no way he does not think you look immediately like a suspicious. I left it in the car. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. I can't believe she was in Have that whole grocery store and she did not get her anything but a fucking chocolate. Chocolate is not a good I way know. to sustain people. Not she could have grabbed her a banana her. or something. Yeah. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm to me. For some reason, androids can only process chocolate. Chocolate is definitely the best for my child. Yeah, how would you know? You're not an android. You wouldn't know what an android child means. What do you know about what I know? You're not me. You're not me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did you think you knew the entire plot? The entire construction of this game? Yes. Well, crap. <laughs> <laughs> there went my entire argument. <laughs> I can't believe she even got a double bed. I don't know, I, I kind of figure maybe you could have saved that money <laughs> and figured something else out. Here, give me a I've done that before in a previous gameplay and then money never comes up again. Seriously? Yeah. Why? I know, it's kind of contrived. Like, what's the point then? I will like be you guys just though. didn't care. Are you hungry? Why would you write this in if you weren't willing to go extra mile? Like give yeah. her a lot of If she stole the money earlier, like let her spend it somewhere else if she didn't spend it there immediately. Yeah. Oh, you thought you had free will in a video game to do anything? <laughs> What a rookie mistake. Alice is so fucking pissed at us right now. I'd be pissed too. 
You made me steal for you. I'm sorry that I wanted you to not be asleep in a car tonight. Let's get these clothes. It wasn't on. the only way to do it, Mom. You just don't understand. <laughs> no, but it was the best way, babe. It wasn't the best way at all. Why do we act like Alice isn't old enough to take off her own clothes? I have no idea. She's also an android, and I don't know Maybe why- Maybe she's just programmed to act like she can't take off her clothes. Maybe. Who knows? Like, do you really want, like, a super helpless kid? I mean, evidently, since he was abusive. I just don't under- I mean, I, I comprehend and grasp- like, look at these shorts, though. Like, they have that blue and that pink strap that goes across of it, and it's a highlight. Yeah. Color. I thought you would like those. <laughs> Why does her shirt right now look perfectly disheveled? I know, right? Like, she tried to make it look like that on purpose. And look at them shoes. Where'd you get the shoes? Why did the other one- Did you also take those off that man? <laughs> Why is she casually trendy without trying? <laughs> Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. Maybe Honey, you didn't do anything wrong. He was just a prick. He's an android. I'm sorry. We're androids. <laughs> he wasn't, but we are, and that's why he's a prick. Obviously. <laughs> Never leave me right. You'll never Once leave Detroit me right. Detroit become racist. <laughs> I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Yeah, forever. As long as I don't make you steal for me again. Oh, I will. It's gonna happen. <laughs> You're gonna be my little thief. Put <laughs> the trigger finger away, Sue. <laughs> no. <laughs> Put it away. No! <laughs> you gotta stop. You gotta be my little thief, mama's little thief. Going to jail. <laughs> Only if they catch us. <laughs> Going to jail. Only if they catch us. <laughs> and they will. I've told them where you're staying. I I've run away from Connor successfully multiple times. <laughs> so Connor's just awful at his job. No, I'm just better at running away. <laughs> Sleep tight, Alice. To be fair, I did run into a moving train, I think, at one of the times. Right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and... Can I cut my hair? Can I criticize the tiling in here? Tiling do be shit. It looks atrocious. This does not look like a motel. This looks like someone's own house. It kind of does. That they made a terrible decision in. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to get into bed and- You have your own bed! What are you doing? We're Comforting trusted Comforting the again. kid, obviously. Yeah, but she has her own bed. Mind your own beeswax. <laughs> you let her sleep with the child. She's a scared child. She's a scared little baby girl. Who also happens to be an android that really doesn't have to be coddled, but... You know what? Don't you question the narrative. <laughs> Detroit Become Human is a perfect game. I could have watched her from the chair, apparently, so I guess I was just being weird getting into bed with her. <laughs> you made the weird decision is what you did. I guess so! You were criticizing her, but you did it. <laughs> I didn't know I could sit in the chair! <laughs> Here I am. My name is Marcus. I gotta diagnose myself. She's 
people were not good at killing me. That's terrifying. Have impaired vision. Awful. I got no legs. They took my legs. I think you should keep having no legs for the sake of everybody else. My heart is on low power. I need to go find stuff. Just leave it alone. Just let yourself die, okay? <laughs> like, trust me, you do not want anybody to see you like this. Ace only a mother could love. Stinky really be out here today acting like people don't want to live even if they're ugly. <laughs> you don't deserve to live if you're ugly. It's not that you don't deserve to live, it's that you don't want to live. <laughs> Let it go. You had a life and, and now it's over. You don't get to live anymore, you're ugly now. <laughs> You would hate to see yourself right now. <laughs> Humans can't be doing this. I feel like if I looked like that, I would probably have to give up for at least a day. <laughs> like, I don't... <laughs> Just lay in the trash heap for a bit. Alright, I belong here then, I guess. I belong here for right now, because I don't feel like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That and look like everything else here. Hey, nobody fusses at you if you're in the trash heap. <laughs> other other than the other people who are also in the trash heap. They don't say anything. Yes, they They're do. Dead. That one's moving its mouth, see? It ain't saying anything. This leg is compatible. We'll take it. You know, if mostly androids end up in here... Someone ought to just go to the trash heap and get them an android. Yeah, just build- I'm sure people do. <laughs> that's probably common practice. They go and they get parts. Yeah, that's what I would do. You make yourself a Terminator? <laughs> Ayo, hey, what up? What up? He's I'm sure they have laws against that, though. You can't be it's going not out buying stuff from the trash. <laughs> I mean, the androids are in there in the first place because they were dismantled, so... Find Jerry! Okay, Mr. Scream. I live in this world. I'll paint you later. I don't, don't know what the it. hell I would do if I were a human and this part came up. Look at all these hands. They just grab at you. That's just gross. Can't believe you could play this game but not the horror game. <laughs> the same thing to me. Where are you going? Where do you think I'm going? I'm leaving. I don't want to be like you. See that one that's walking around? I'd get him. Oh, he died. I just have to Beta. replace a few things. Optical unit. I don't know. Incompatible. Oh, that must suck. Really just trying to find compatible parts. And I can't. Have Not broken. like being a human and just being able to find a random eyeball <laughs> and just... put it in your stocking. <laughs> Not at all! Anything oh. like our experience. <laughs> <laughs> Truly privileged that we don't talk about as often. <laughs> Those androids, those stupid, stupid androids. <laughs> Crap, I keep forgetting that doesn't work anymore. It's all just me wandering around until I find I'm just surprised something. they don't have security guards out here. Processing in sync. Compatible, we found an eyeball! <laughs> Train to shoot anything that moves. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. 
I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? I need that. You can give me your eyes because I don't care about you. Please contact me here to find the right station. That is so freaky. I just popped one up on in there, and now that sensor I works. I can see clearly now. The, the rain, rain is has... still here. I can see all obstacles in my way, of which there are many. I can see how ugly I am now too. Hey, he got an earpiece for us. Hey, babe. Hello. Hello. Thank you. I'll be taking your ear now. That's weird. You don't have to announce that. <laughs> I would rather have not known. <laughs> That's the one thing on my body that works. <laughs> Alright, now we found all we those found things. All we just gotta find ourselves find a ourselves heart now. Heart. Yeah. That's what we've been doing for the past like 30 minutes. Finding parts. Wait, please. Please don't do that. Don't do that. You want to live. live. You ain't got legs. Ain't got live. Don't be mean to her. <laughs> she wants to live just like you. Fine. But my friend thinks my you're friend too ugly to live. Ugly. Just so you know. <laughs> Gotta find ourselves, find ourselves another one. Another one. That one ain't compatible. That one's not compatible. Should have killed you. Should have <laughs> killed you, lady. <laughs> it would have been easier on me. I wouldn't have to walk as far. You know? <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> That's the reasoning. <laughs> I didn't want to take those extra ten steps. But now I don't am. You, cause don't you... you understand that I'm already on my last legs? <laughs> Literally, because I just stole these two seconds ago. They're these my aren't last even legs. my legs. Oh, we got one. Alright. It's easier to take from somebody who don't want it. I'm sure you were a good android in your time. And now you're me. You're just gonna throw that away. You're not even gonna give him the dying one. Yeah. Basically. Alright, we're fully functional. We're Once you're given the ability to have free will and free choice, you just don't care about other people anymore. <laughs> That's really the gist of it. Look at this guy. He's just a top and he's trying so hard. One taste of selfishness and he can't go back. <laughs> I think that's the problem with society today. <laughs> Keep going, you can do it, sir. Climb Seriously, over the you've got rest new legs and everything. You really should be able to make it. Or you can just wait until it stops raining and it should be easier to climb up. <laughs> uh, who would do that? <laughs> True. Who would wait? Well, if you nah, can't I just want to hang out in the trash hole for another five <laughs> minutes. Your teeth look like brand spanking new. They are probably brand spanking new. There he is. That's what he painted, too. That's why I was like, now you can see the future? That's freaky. It's a rock. That's knife shape. And 
then the skin just absorbs it like it's normal. That's just weird. <laughs> There's I mean, I'm glad you look normal now and don't have that weird birthmark on the side of your head that I didn't like, but... <laughs> look, he's Could've ripped. Done that from he's the got start, muscles actually. and everything. Like, someone, when they were making him, they were like, we're gonna give the same <laughs> androids fucking a six-pack for no reason. It's not for no reason, it's just in case the owner decides they really love their androids. <laughs> I guess. You know how it is. Android loving. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just get really enthralled. That your android is good at doing the dishes. <laughs> oh yeah. Dead android. My ex there. never did that. <laughs> Not as well as you, Ricardo. <laughs> Just name your fucking android, Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo. Alejandro. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. I wish we could just stay here and never see the trash heap again. This is the mind palace of Connor. Hey, That's an odd sculpture though. That does not look real. <laughs> it isn't real. Cause it's all in his I head. I mean it isn't, clearly. Cause but... it's all in my head, I think about it over and over again. Everything else looks more real than some of these structures out here. We looking for Amanda. There she is. Cutting roses in my mind place. Oh, I remember you. Oh, Connor. It's good to see you. Good to see you, lady. Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. Finding that deviant was not easy. You you interrogated it was very clever. And you were clever, baby. You've been remarkably efficient. And you super That's efficient, great. Babe. Can I have one of those flowers? I just really like them. <laughs> Can I have a rose? Just hand me a rose, okay? Just put it in my little jacket pocket, please. One for the road, you know? What did you think of the deviant? What did I think of the deviant? Let's answer it showed all the signs of deviancy. Cognitive instability, unpredictable behavior, and the emulation of human emotions. It was even afraid to die. The model was clearly defective. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Did that bee just fuse through her face? It did, it did. It would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Let's adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that Why I didn't she like that answer? To accommodate his psychology. How dare you adapt to him? <laughs> How dare you care about his personality? <laughs> if you ever so much as think about adapting, that's it. It's over for you. You'll become just like them. You'll be a deviant. You're just a deviant if you know how to adapt. <laughs> You're a deviant waiting to be a deviant. <laughs> I don't trust you, sir. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. There's little time, Connor. Before you turn deviant and you betray me, like I know you will. And you will. It's only a matter of time. Yikes, some of these people, they look like androids. They really do. Okay, Hank. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. They can just connect to people. That is so weird. 
That's when Anderson hasn't arrived yet. That's how hackers would get to hack your Android in the future. That's exactly how they would do it. They'd probably yeah, like they just would legitimately upload themselves one of those crazy little eyeballs in their face. Yeah, that's how you ruin the world. <laughs> a terrorist just hacks every android that they walk past in your city, and it's over. One of these... I feel like people who design these games, they really don't think anything through. <laughs> they probably You don't. just think we're all stupid. <laughs> like... <laughs> Ah, oh, no, that would totally work without a problem. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. So we're just gonna sit in his seat. And snoop around a little bit, let's be honest. He looks like a little kid waiting for his dad. He does. <laughs> he does not look secure at all. <laughs> Preschool is over, I'm waiting for my mom. Okay, let's see what he's got going on here. Just deciding to listen to some tunes while I wait. Yeah, I'd do that too. Knights of the Black Death. It's a heavy metal band. Alrighty. I guess he decided that wasn't to his taste. Call Hank Anderson. Not a metal guy. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Beep. Whatever. Beep. Whatever. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlight. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. And he doesn't even say goodbye. I'm Connor. I'm waiting for you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-android slogans. I don't- if I want to be ignored, I'd talk to my ex-wife. We don't believe the same color. How is my driving? Call one five five. If you're not a bartender, then go away. But he bought you a drink. <laughs> like, just so you know. Way better than a bartender. He bought you a drink. He got them donuts. I want to know why, like, cops are so associated with donuts. Japanese. I don't know. But I definitely want a donut right now. <laughs> that coffee doesn't look good, but I do want a donut. <laughs> Detroit basketball. Hmm. He was the youngest lieutenant of the Detroit, pol Detroit police, of course, at one point. Oh, he got a doggy. He got a doggy. Well, now you gotta like him. He's got a dog. <laughs> He's writing down things about them. A real good guy. police, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> a real. Just wanted asshole. you to know that that one was real. Nice girl. Not, Not since 2019. So, oh, owe, owe me 50 bucks. <laughs> well, I guess you do have to keep track of that kind of stuff. Matches. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, jeez. Hank! In my office. Uh-oh. What'd you do, Hank? I come in with trouble. you. You my father now. About to bulldoze him over. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. 
This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Yes, I'm sure it would Why suck if these the people who made shit? androids suddenly couldn't make money anymore. It would. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder. Because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. Because it's time for you to get over your prejudice, babe. You do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. He's a mad boy. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Hold best. Hold the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. Why are everybody so mean? Check on Hank. Let's go check on Hank. What does pragmatic mean? Um, I don't know thought I did, but no, it's not coming to me. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Ah, sensible. Now that I got gotcha. partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Trying so hard. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. All right. Nice. That's a start. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? It's Sumo. He cares about dogs, Sumo. sir. <laughs> Call him Sumo. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen for, to it to for two metal? seconds. I don't believe it. He didn't like it. He didn't like to music as <laughs> I know that you get uh, bad responses with the other two, so... Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Too long. <laughs> Too fucking long! <laughs> I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Okay. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. What if I just punch myself, huh? Bam! I'll take that as an order. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Knock yourself out." I elected to take him seriously. I did what I had to do. All right. Oh, 
Uh, Leo Manfred Leo was Man found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. The later witness. Manfred is such an interesting name. Yeah. Between his son and the house android, the android is thought to be a prototype unknown model and serial model number and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. The plaintiff, the manager of Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android model. Explain, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can explain that in a second. <laughs> the android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, AP-700. The android also trashed several rooms in the house. The plaintiff claims to be attacked by a uh, model android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle him before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. The plaintiff reports that this android at home, his an he left his android at home as usual, and when he went to work, when he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of break-in in the apartment the android may have left on his own. Oh look, there's Kara. The plaintiff claims he was violently Let's get her attacked. arrested or killed! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get her arrested or killed! Okay. The android had just returned from being repaired the previous day and has n had shown signs of aggression in the past. Uh. All righty. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. You know, he's kind of better at your job than you are. But I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> Stick it up your butt. I don't want to hear you. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some <laughs> sorry to disturb you. Sorry to disturb you from fucking that uh, android. You know, yeah, killing that android, just destroying him in the office, you know? We probably gotta pay for that if you do it. I don't... <laughs> so comfortable manhandling your laptop there. I know, right? I love that we're just calling them laptops now. <laughs> <laughs> They're all laptops. <laughs> all to us. I would never, ever mishandle another person's laptop. That's what I would say about this. <laughs> Everybody out here is like, you fucking prick. Why would you even do it to your own laptop? It makes no sense. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't have respect for that sort of thing, because he can barely use a cell phone. I bet you don't even have one. You have a beeper. Let Alice rest. That's a very real ear I just looked at. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So the modeling on that ear was just amazing. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. I still don't know why half your shirt is tucked in and the other half is not. Warm bath. And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? I'll ring your bell.
you look so great next to the wall that you look just like. <laughs> I don't understand why you're doing this, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> I think it's to hide who she is. But does it really, though? Yeah, it's important to change, like, the, uh... Oh, oh my gosh, you can change your hair color, too? That's yeah. wild. I think I like her as a blonde, but let's see. What do you think? I feel like blonde and the white hair look best. Yeah. I'm gonna go with blonde. Why did her eyebrows not change, though? She's Justin Bieber. Like, that couldn't have been hard to change. Look, she's hurting a little bit, dude. I can't believe you did that with a pair of scissors. It's gone now. It is, but I can't believe you did that with a pair of scissors. Where'd you even get it? You ever just stab yourself to get rid of it's something in your brain? You really look like you're swimming. Wow, it's almost as if you also That's look like sick. a human. Canada, still android free. Good job, Canada. I bet you're really glad about that decision right now. <laughs> Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. You're looking at the United States right now like, ha! <laughs> We did better than you. I mean, I'm assuming this is the U.S. anyway. It is the United States. Thanks, Michael. I'm oh, Detroit duh! It's called Detroit. I forgot. <laughs> Detroit. Nah, Detroit is just a space station. You see, it exists in Russia somewhere. Kill me. Oh, I fought it off and it ran away. It didn't even do anything to you. Shut Thank up. You, Todd. Such a liar. Android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the android. Let's hope they find it fast. It's not true. He's lying. He's, lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. That's true. Like, so why aren't you changing her appearance? That's what I want to know go. too. Cut her hair. And the police are looking for us now. Get her a hat or something. Like, come on. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just dad. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through. And soon, all this will just be a bad memory. It'll just be a bad memory, Alice. Just like through the looking glass. Finish getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Let's move this over a little bit. Let's do 
room. Let's get breakfast for her. All right, we will get you. Oh, look, here's the chocolate bar. She also did not eat. That's the book, but not what I was talking about. She never ate this chocolate bar. Police, they're here. they're here. We have to run. We have to run right now. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. There's Connor. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Yes. What? I think there's something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normally. No way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably room 28. Thank you. You should have said that, like, first, dude. Just Search so you know. motel room. She's still here. Room 28. Oh, crap. Awesome. Thanks. You wait in the car. You're going to need me, Lieutenant. I know more about androids than you do. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the, the fuck, fuck up and, and do what, what I, I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Is that a threat, sir? Yeah, it is. Why are you always fighting me? You know I'm just gonna go with you. Why are we walking all slow and casual like that? He's so abusive to his laptop. I know. It's just terrible. It's almost like laptops fall from the sky. I know! Like, he's never owned a laptop before. I also wonder whether, like, everybody, every time they're, like, a dystopian situation goes on where Canada, like, is, like, the savior sort of place. Like you always have to Canada would be the one in the toilet, let's be honest. Canada doesn't let's know go. shit. Canada's gonna be in trouble, I'm sorry. Like they're over there with their maple syrup and everything. Like that's <laughs> that's it. <laughs> if you We want... are the saviors of mankind, eh? <laughs> I mean, if Terrence and Philip were real, then I wouldn't argue. They're definitely the saviors of mankind. <laughs> they would come over, they would fart once, and it'd be over. Exactly. But, um, they're not real, so Canada doesn't have anything going for it right now. danger level. Just let her get caught. <laughs> Just super get caught. <laughs> I've never gotten caught before. What actually? happens if you get caught? I don't know. We should find out. Because I want to know. I've never been caught before during this part. It's just like not a thing that happens for me. Maybe I'm too boss at games and shit. I don't know. Ooh. Look at me not being the slightest bit suspicious. <laughs> you want me to get caught though? Shit, that's them. Yeah. Police. I got caught. Requesting backup. Which way did it go? That way, they're headed for the train station. It's so weird that he calls them it's, you know? You it's, you it's better get back here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get that they're androids, but they still have genders, you know? <laughs> I mean, on Tumblr, they you're probably debate this situation, but <laughs> I think that they'd.
probably got programmed with genders. You yeah, know? I think so. <laughs> the first time they meet through a caged bog. Good shoot, situation. we need it alive. Y'all are so close to getting hit. <laughs> hey. I don't blame her for screaming. That's freaky. That's some hey, freaky deaky control. bullshit right there. Can't let them get away. They won't. And never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go, Connor. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, Connor, yeah, go, yeah, boy, yeah, go! Keep going, Connor. Do it. Get him. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> I don't know how she got away. You were just too good at being bad at the game. <laughs> I guess so. I guess I was sitting there. I was like, for a minute, I panicked, think, thinking that if I didn't push him out of the way, he'd die. So I think that's what happened. Right. <laughs> She's just terrified, man. <laughs> Man, I should have let him get her. Oh my god. Oh, I was so close. I want to kind of go back to it and see if I can do that. Yeah. Can you? Is it possible? I think so. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Yeah, try it. Okay. Wait, can we take like a break for like five? Yeah. Because I gotta. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Baby boy, that's my baby boy. Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Mm hmm Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? I... I don't think so, no. <laughs> 
though. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? A cell phone, a pen and paper, a console, an instrument. Well, the pen and paper would go fast. The cell phone would die. I guess you could have a book and continuously reread it, but I guess you would also get tired. The console would not have energy, so an instrument is the only thing you could play for a long time. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Yes. What technology do you most anticipate? Androids. Do you believe in God? Yes. Would you let an android take care of your children? I'm trying to do that little head shake there. Would you let an android take care of your children? Yeah! How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? No. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Man, everybody said yes. Everybody would consider having a relationship with an android that looked human. Uh, they can feel things for you. That's why I said no. Most people also think that yes. So it's almost like the same people who would fuck the droids are scared of them. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Most people said yes. Um, hmm. Interesting. Would you let an android take care of your children? I say yes because I'm like There's no way that, like, anybody in the world would uh, ever, well, the androids at least wouldn't molest my kids, so I, I could be safe with that in knowledge. We are, like, very bad at communicating with people at this point in time I think that's why so many people want to fuck androids because it takes um, the pressure off this is your story chart it shows what parts of the story you've explored and what parts you've missed you can track the choices made by other players and do many other things besides you can use this chart to replay from any point in the story but the people who designed you recommend that you play through at least once without going back, no matter what happens. Either way. Okay, good. I've made all these decisions already, so I'm starting out pretty simple in a good location. We're gonna get uh, her caught this time. Okay, I can't speed through it. Just like said, no matter how slow you go, all right. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't all like that. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll ring you back. again a bit too like like is that little hey, like holographic that. thing really look like you've seen me you bastard Thanks, Michael. I'm joined by Corktown resident Todd Williams, who was violently attacked by his AX-400 around 11 p.m. last night. Todd, can you tell us what happened? I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. Damn thing jumped on me. I managed to defend myself, but it, it went crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. Oh, I, I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Disturbing news for Android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the Android. Hello. Hello. I restarted the level. Awesome. So that I could get her caught. Right. Cool. It's not true. He's lying. Hopefully that won't be He's a terrible decision. Eh, it's a decision I've never made before. So it'll be interesting do? to right. see. We have nowhere yeah. to go. And the police are looking for us. I'm just gonna let Connor grab her and hold her. Yep. I can't stay here. I wonder if it'll be anymore. easier not to get away if you get caught sooner. I think so. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm yeah. gonna let her just be caught. Yeah. The android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Could be worth a try. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. I'm going with the exact same dialogue, pretty much. Through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. I'm also not totally positive Justin Bieber is, like, potentially cheating on his wife. Oh, that's <laughs> random. I know! <laughs> that's true, and then we can get going. Not positive about it, but for some reason, on the Sutan Chan YouTube channel, 
They seem to think that I am a huge fan of Justin Bieber, and I am getting. I the wonder demo. why. <laughs> I don't know. I say, completely knowing that you probably listened to his music on that channel before. <laughs> probably. <laughs> they think you're a super fan now. <laughs> That's all I do. I just consume Justin Bieber content. Su Chan Chan is just a huge Justin Bieber fan. She's she's a believer, if you will. It's canon now. That's who you are. I guess so. And you know what? You can't lie about it. I've known that about you your whole life. No way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah. Every time somebody brings up Justin Bieber, you're like, uh, Justin. Let me tell you about how awful Justin the situation Bieber. is with Justin Bieber. Like, he deserves better. He does deserve better, just to be honest. <laughs> they did him wrong! Every time we talk about Justin Bieber, we just remember how wrongly he was treated. He was mistreated! <laughs> he deserves... Much better. Sorry, the end of your and then Stop Selena Gomez. I don't even know what was going on there, but like that was messed up. Anyway, part of me thinks that uh, there's some kind of situation going on between Selena Gomez and him again. Uh huh. None of this is confirmed, by the way, but I've noticed that he's very pragmatic about just putting everything that's actually going on in his life in his music videos. And his very right. recent music video included a woman who looked not like his wife, but Selena Gomez. And the song oh. was to, um, it was to his wife, and it was basically begging her to stay with him, even though oh he fucked gosh. up. And so I'm like, what happened, Justin? What did you do to your wife? <laughs> what did you do, Justin? <laughs> We just want to know. What is going on, Justin? <laughs> it's gone. I guess Titan is a fan of Justin Bieber now, I guess. <laughs> it's you. You're Suta. <laughs> I'm Su in my In my defense, he does uh, make good music. Alright, let's go get her caught. <laughs> hey. Fuck that stuff. Hey, stop! Police! Which way did it go? It was so that easy to get away, but I did not want to. Run after her. Go faster. He runs so quickly. Go. Looks like she did just run the whole distance. They're over there! That's crazy. Bro. Keep going, keep going, Get keep her. going, Connor. Get out. Got this. This often feels to me like a lover scene, if I'm wrong. Like, that man just been shoot. We need That's a so weird. Yeah, the way they framed that. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Y'all are not that intimate, man. <laughs> Y'all do not know each other that well. I mean, maybe because you're androids, it feels like that, but... Shit, he died! 
He Are did die. I cannot believe they favored Kara. I'm so mad. <laughs> No, but he's- he's not! You just killed an android! So I guess she just gets away no matter what. That's awful. I'm mad. I know! Why would you get rid of Connor? Don't worry, he'll be back. He better be back. I'm tired. How <laughs> dare you. He's already my favorite! <laughs> Okay, so this just said the progression will like not that. be saved, which means that I can just play from my previous save point. Yeah. Good. Awesome. So he'll be alive. Fine. Yeah. That's fine. Crazy. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed. Yeah, that's me. I'm Marcus. I dress like a hobo, but like a rich hobo. And I stand around completely inconspicuously with other androids, not looking like an android, yeah. but totally looking like an android. Look at me. I put like a... The coat does not give you away at all. Not in the slightest. Just, it's an awful looking coat. He's even got a triangle on it. Like, come I on, man. I can tell, like, that you dug that out of a trash heap. That's not... It's a no bueno. Well, he probably got it next door, didn't he? Yeah. Because there was a store called Veda. Oh, we just... gotta find these things. What are we doing? I don't know. Are you just a real art obsessed dude now? Since you had to leave your dad? That's the only thing I know about my daddy! I just need to see all these murals, man. Android on the run. This runaway machine con causes panic in Camden. It's the only thing that makes me feel anything anymore is seeing art. Hmm. Hmm. Androids, astronauts to explore space. Honestly, good. They they don't even have to wear special spacesuits. They don't have to send oxygen up there. Uh huh. Don't have to worry about them if they break, like the spaceship breaks down. Androids only blend in with the humans. What which if the aliens steal your technology? Isn't it freaking weird that the androids get the privilege of walking up and down the stairs? <laughs> and then. We're just getting fat doing the escalator shit. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Excuse me. That's weird. <laughs> we should be the ones getting exercise. Uh, the android should be the ones on the escalator. You don't have to watch their weight at all. Do you know where they can't gain is? weight. <laughs> Not unless their battery bloats. Symbol. What the heck are we looking for? We're looking for a symbol on him. There's one. The symbol of God striking it down. <laughs> <laughs> I took a survey while you were away. Oh. And what it said was that most people are down 
to fuck androids. That's interesting. Um, but interestingly enough, it's like almost the same amount of people who are down to fuck androids that are afraid that androids will take over. That's so weird. <laughs> Isn't it? Just like, well, I gotta get one in before they take over, obviously, right? <laughs> I'm just being smart. <laughs> I'm just being calculated. I just gotta get me my get on with them. <laughs> while before I... they take over. <laughs> That's all I wanna do. And then it was like way more than the that amount of people are like dependent on the internet and stuff like that right but like i just thought it was interesting that everybody's like down to clown with the androids but they're also like uh what happens if they take over it's it's so weird because so much of intimacy requires trust yeah, and obviously you like, guys do not trust <laughs> How can you get intimate if you can't trust that they're not gonna take over the world, man? It's... Oh, they're dumb. How can you trust that they'll handle your dingle, man? <laughs> can you handle... They... It's just... It's not about it anymore. They just want their... They just want to get their dick wet. What if the way that they take over the world is by, like, planting some kind of dis disease down there, you know? <laughs> That's that they could easily do that. <laughs> Your dingle will never be safe again. <laughs> <laughs> you thought, you thought that you could get away with that safely, but... You didn't understand that that was the prime way that they could take over. <laughs> Everybody's know? just down to screw an android. Like, everybody's just cool with it. Big mistake. But they're also Big scared of it! And I'm just like, uh, everybody's so codependent on, uh, the only reason that we want to screw these things, let's be honest, is because we're, we are bad at communication. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to communicate with other people. <laughs> We're just awful at it. We're not good at it in the slightest. Just that's it. Pretty plain and simple. Yeah. Distanced ourselves too much from society. That's the problem. We just need to be able to handle talking to. Uh, each other, because I think that's what it is. I don't think anybody actually wants to, like, not have anything to do with e people. I think it's just that, like, people, they don't know how to talk to us anymore. Yeah. They don't know how to have a conversation. They don't know how to talk. Yep. Chat with people that they like. They want to screw an android because there's that's much less work. Just like, well, they they can't hate me, say no to me, you know? Like, they can't and think honestly, I'm ugly and leave. <laughs> that's such a fucked up way to think about things, like. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, why would you treat someone that way in the first place? <laughs> Really just, uh, I'm doing this because you won't judge me and you won't leave. <laughs> You're never gonna leave me! Like, uh, sorry man, life is about people potentially judging and leaving <laughs> at some point. That's just how it is sometimes. You just gotta be brave, man. <laughs> gotta be brave. I know it's hard. You shouldn't always make everybody your best friend or your best boyfriend or whatever. You shouldn't marry a girl you meet within five days. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot imagine doing that. 
Dude, you can't know somebody in five days. You can't know that they're not crazy. <laughs> Can you imagine? What if they just, like, stab you in your sleep? You deserve it, honestly. <laughs> like, you should have thought about this, you know? Thought it through for a second. I think Culty from 90 Day, 90 Day Fiance did that. Oh my gosh. But I won't even lie, the girl wasn't crazy, his family was. No. It's not gonna be strong enough, we gotta go back over here then. Man, androids are just... I don't know if they're too advanced or if they're not advanced enough. Cause like, this is handy and all, but you still take time to view the simulation. Like, if somebody was after you... Can you imagine being like, hold on, I've gotta make sure this will work. Yeah. Hope you don't chase me for, like, a good 15 minutes while I figure out if this is gonna work. <laughs> I can't believe Connor dies over that shit. I can't believe it either. I mean, I guess that makes sense because Kara was what sparked this game in the first place, but I am I feel like that's super unfair. <laughs> Connor is more trained for this than she is. She should not have gotten away. The only reason she got away was- Why were those, like, cars so comfortable running and chasing after them? <laughs> if I were me, I would have parked. <laughs> yeah. I would not be sitting there like, what is happening? For real. We're gonna enter a boat, and we're gonna find our lover in that boat. But we're not gonna know she's our lover yet. And we're gonna sacrifice her in a later area. Also, it's weird that androids are capable of love. I all oh, one of the things I thought was weird was that uh -huh. they were like, I am positive that like androids will be dangerous in the future and right <laughs> they want to fuck them still i'm like so you're, like, <laughs> you're scared <laughs> like you're terrified and you want to get into this mess like come on like when i answered i said no i don't want to screw the android <laughs> I, it just feels like a very cruel stupid mean thing for me to do yeah. I'm not gonna do that. And you gotta question, like, consent. Like, even if they said, I want to, like, did they really, though? They're an android. They are not capable of consent. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if later they did unlock, like, true sentience, and they were like, it turns out I didn't want to, and now I'm gonna hold this against you forever. And the thing about it was, it's like, I said, no, I don't want to screw the androids. And then I was like, do you feel like the uh, computer technology is ever going to be dangerous to you? And I also was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to screw the technology. And I don't think the technology will be dangerous to me or to other people in the future. But the people who do think it's dangerous, they're like, yeah, I'll fuck it. And I just, That's so weird. <laughs> to me, I'm just like, I, this is why. This is why you're afraid. Because you're willing to manipulate the technology in the first place. You're the one who's sitting there willing to, like... You're the manipulator. You! you. <laughs> me, I know that it's not going to be dangerous to me because I'm not going to treat my android like shit, alright? That's what is going to happen. 
Then my android's gonna come back. He gonna love me, all right? <laughs> what it all comes down to is whether or not we're the old dude that took care of Marcus, or we're the abusive dad man. Yeah, will you respect the things you've been given is the question. And I don't think, like, letting yourself get your dick wet with them is, like, showing respect, if we're honest. Hey, look, it's a complimentary horror game flashlight. Oh, no. That means we're gonna have a complimentary horror game moment. Oh, no. <laughs> I can go through here. What's in here? Is there anything in here? I guess not. Nothing more fun or satisfying than going through an abandoned ship. Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? No, I was not. Even though if I played the game and I knew it was coming, I wasn't expecting I it. I could tell your avatar wasn't expecting it either, because it really did look shocked. <laughs> She ran through the freaking hallways. Yeah, like chill, man. Calm down. <laughs> Find your chill for just a second, okay? Welcome to Jericho. Hey, Daniel. He looks creepy. He looks like the dude from uh, Dream Daddy. Like the guy that looked like a Mormon. That's so specific, but he really did. He looked like a Mormon. He kind of did. He looks like what, um... What is his name? Yeah. Gary from South Park would look like if he grew up. Yeah. I got some hot dogs. They're on sale. Software instability. Hank, honey. Hank. Hank. Honey. Father, uh, I love you. <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry, Lieutenant. It took me a while to find you. Are you going to come back like this every time you get killed? My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Not affect the investigation? I just saw you get hit by a truck. Now you come back like nothing happened? A machine was destroyed, and another machine was sent to replace it. I don't understand what's bothering you. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> Still going. Yikes. Big mood. 
I just got a report of a suspected deviant. Of a suspected deviant. We should go have a look. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Plan on staying in the elevator? No, I'm coming. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's so cute. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Uh, not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he, he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Now, Carter. Anybody home? Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! What I do want to know is how back in the day before there were doorbells, Stay behind me. anybody it. heard anybody, like, knocking. I guess you'd knock for longer. You just knock really knock. loud, maybe? Probably. I guess that's why they had like those big old knockers. Like... Yeah, the door knockers, yeah. Yeah. So it would make a bigger noise. Cause your knuckles. They just don't do it, man. No, they don't. No, they don't. What the fuck is this? It's a bunch of pigeons, dude. Just a bunch of pigeons. Jesus, this place stinks. Look at all these birds. All these oh, birds. Uh, looks like we came for nothing. All these birds. Oh, man, and I still and can't you... give a hoot. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will walk through the birds. Y'all are quite brave to be staying in there. I know, right? All that bird poop and everything. I meant the birds, but alright. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're like, yeah. I mean, cool. either way. True. <laughs> hmm. This is what I imagine you journal like. I need some fresh air. Not completely Sounds comprehensible, up. but like I don't know. No. It looks like a note very place. everywhere and filling up the <laughs> entirety of the page. <laughs> right. There's a bird up here. Hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. Just gently push the bird away. Today I went outside and I saw that the cat had brought back like half of a lizard. Uh huh. Just half though. He put his initials in his jacket. He was disgusting. Wow. Yeah. Like he had eaten the entire bottom of the lizard. Like, like, thanks, cat. <laughs> Driver's license. The driver's Rupert license Travis. is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Hey, look, RA9, RA9. Mm hmm. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something.
gonna lick stuff. He Loofa. told you not to do that, man. <laughs> Real books. I thought I was the last. Still licking crap. The LED was deactivated. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with. No human could live with all these birds. <laughs> Me neither. What a mood. He's right about that. We got that wooden stall. Never met a crazy bird man before, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> they only live in New York. Finger mark from recent. Skid mark recent. They must still be heated if you're if insistent that they're re recently broken. It's gotta be so nice to be like an android who's able to do all this stuff. Able to do what? All this reconstruction stuff. Yeah. He jumped! Get him! Get him, Connor! Get him! Get him! I'm sorry. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it. Specifically, it. <laughs> Get it, Connor! Get it! Fast but risky. Balance, fast but risky. Do fast but risky. Safer detour, direct but crowded. It's fine, we'll do it all. We're skilled at this sort of thing. We died once, but that, that was, was just, just because I wasn't touching anything. That was just because we wanted Kara to get uh, Kara would to get caught, and that didn't work out. Yeah, we just wanted her to get caught. Direct but You're slow, just ruining safe. all these plants, huh? Fuck these plants. These plants don't matter to the investigation. I'ma get you! That's so boss. <laughs> Connor's boss, I'm telling you. Holy shit. He's like, holy crap. Now you better not die again, sir, okay? <laughs> For real, I won't forgive you if you do it again. <laughs> not okay. That old man probably gotten used to you, and he was mourning for a second. <laughs> he thought you were he, was, he thought you were dead. He didn't know what to do. Thanks, but so direct but crowded. But it would suck to be friends with an android, and then they just forget everything about you. They really would. But, uh, Connor didn't because all the information was transferred to him. Oh, that's true. They backed that up, so that's good. No! Oh.
my fault. I should have been faster. You need a car that doesn't work for me. Oh, <laughs> you're having a bonding moment. <laughs> Uh, not necessarily. They can change their appearance, man. Hey, Connor. Nothing. <laughs> Good job, Just don't kid. Drive. <laughs> Thanks. Good job. Good job. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. He's a good man. He's just a grouch. He's a grouchy good man. Where are we? We're in Jericho now. There's that sex one who got away. She's gonna be our lover. Fugitives. Just like you. Interesting. My name is Josh. That's Josh. Simon. That's Simon. Yeah. That's North. I'm just gonna see what happens if I don't say a thing. They're just gonna think you're awkward, I guess. Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. Not every human hates no you. Like She's gonna be our lover. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill this is That's Jericho. questionable too. Like her programming is entirely to be like a companion, you know. Mm -hmm. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. <laughs> I came to Jericho looking for hope. It looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost, just like the rest of us. You're the Didn't only one with this. a flashlight. <laughs> he is the only one with a <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> Why do you need a flashlight, Marcus? You can stay with us as long as you want. Don't you have like, you have, like vision <clears throat> that allows you to see in Maybe the dark? Maybe the eyes he got don't have good vision for the night or something. <laughs> he has two different kind of eyes. I have no idea, Rochelle. One I'm of them ought to. All right, let's just light a trash can on fire. I don't know. You want to attract everybody with the freaking smoke? Ah, uh, yeah, it's good to smell fire in this dumpster. <clears throat> this guy reminds me of Pinocchio. Yeah, that's true. He looks just like him. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> His diagnostic program isn't working. If you have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? You tied me to the back of the car. You made me want to have fun. I don't want to shut down. Y'all can't be mistreating your laptops. They've Stop. gotta be expensive. It doesn't even make sense. Like, are you gonna pay for that? <laughs> You like y'all are y'all rich? Like what just out here dropping ten thousand dollars on an android so you can tie it to the back of your car? I just wanna see what'll happen if I tie it to the back of my truck, you know. <laughs> I mean obviously what's gonna happen is I'm gonna wreck it. But... And then I'm gonna have to take it to the store and drop another five thousand dollars just fixing it. This is But hey, all for a good time, right? <laughs> This literally makes no sense. Do you know what happens after death? Unless people are just really reckless in this world no. and they're all rich. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. She out here like, what happens after you die? He like, I don't know. I'm about to find out. Dark. Dang. How do you even know that? Do they feel like, like actual people, or do they feel like that like silver that stuff? I don't know. I feel like it's just metallic with a texture, 
like you know how when you're doing art yeah you can apply a texture i think that's what it is me i think that if they have to like make them companionable meaning that they have to like they make them so that you can have sex with them I don't know why you would do that. Yeah. But if, I mean, you'd, you'd think that they would have different skin types. Yeah, yeah that they would have, the like, like, a silicone exterior or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But here it looks- it, it does look sort of like plastic, Still actually. Yeah. yeah. That's a- that's a little boy android, just like the one that Car is taking care of, but he's a boy. Right. Yeah. Um... Like, apparently people adopt these androids because they want children, and then they realize they don't want children. Right. And then they just leave their little $10,000 How could you not handle an android child? They're easier to handle than children. Because they don't eat. Don't... Just turn off the temperature. Make it so they can't feed them that shit. Like, chill, man. It's not that deep. They're barely a child. They're barely a child. If you can't handle an android child, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you are not meant for parenthood. You're not even meant for an animal if you can't take care of an chi android child. Like, exactly. You're so far gone. You can't. These guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. We'll never accept what we are. I'm just glad she's got a ball to throw around. Like that would be me. Like well, these guys need spare <laughs> That's all I got to do. Hasn't anybody gone to get them? <laughs> Not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. No, nobody wants to risk losing chat call. What was your function before coming here? As a sex android? What do you I don't want to talk about it. She's resentful toward us. It's okay. She always gets resentful toward us. You came here for comfort. You came to the wrong place. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place, she says. When the whole place is advertised. I almost place feel like comfort. it's actually better to live with a person. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. All these other androids are terrible. And dying. And sad. Yeah, I mean, it's always possible you could find a person who isn't a trash bag, you know? Mm hmm And they're not gonna say no to a free android, like... I wouldn't say no to a free android if an android came up to me and was like, my last owner was kind of shit. I like, oh man, I get that. <laughs> Just like free Android to a good home sort of situation. Sit in a cardboard box on the road. You can <laughs> even check their background. Like you, you're an Android. You could do it. You could run through the files really quickly. Yeah, and just exactly. See if they have an extreme background or not, dude. I feel like the more we talk about the universe, the more we tear it apart. <laughs> We're just fucking holes left and right. It doesn't make Why sense. wouldn't you do this if you were in this situation? Like, why wouldn't you do that? It would be so easy. <laughs> There's Lucy. You could legitimately Lucy. break into a police office or whatever and just look at everybody's files. It's because it's supposed to be like their version of talking about how you know, the Underground Railroad and the Blacks got freed and stuff. It's supposed to be like that, except with yeah, Except with it doesn't work at all. Except it doesn't make sense because, you know, they didn't have resources like these people do. Yeah. It's really an unfair comparison, ultimately. I also feel like it's unfair to compare humanity to just trash bags, yeah. you know? Like, not every person is just awful. Yeah! Hank is really the only character who is human throughout the entirety of the game. Yeah. Like, we're just following trash bags and occasional trash bags. Mm -hmm. Every so often. But you're not seeing the nice people. 
and and like Clark was also a good human. Yeah. Like even if people had a problem with androids existing, they wouldn't treat him like crap, you know. I'm sure some of them would, but some people would not because everybody. they're, you know. People are afraid of what they don't understand. That's common, but it's not necessarily as big of a deal as they're trying to make it out to be. I'll tell you who in particular would treat their androids like trash. Yeah. Children. <laughs> children, because children are yeah. just brats, you know? Children would do it, but I don't think that normal adult parent people would do it. Yeah. I don't even think teenagers would do it. I mean, it's so easy to feel empathy for something that looks human, you know? Yeah, we feel empathy for anything with eyes. You had it all. Like, yeah. <laughs> and you lost it all. We look at a baby kitten and we're like, oh, <gasps> that poor baby. Your heart is troubled. Most people want to take care of other things. Yeah. So this just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Your choices will shape your destiny. Your choices will shape your destiny. Well, no shit, Lucy. Thanks for that. Now make good choices, Marcus. Please, please just make good choices. I'm so tired. <laughs> Simon. I know a Why do you still friends. have your little light thing? Cyber like, I don't understand. <laughs> they have everything we need. They're trying to hide, like Guns that's the goal. Guarded. I don't know why you still have it. There Every, there's fires the lit everywhere. And the thing about it is like I'm like, why did they have to wait so much for somebody new to come along to light the fires for them to stand near the fires when they're obviously cold? Why else would they stand next to the fire? Right. I'm with you. Look, suddenly sh we're neutral. Maybe it's worth a try. He looks like Token. Josh is one of my favorites. Purple shirted man. If we're not careful, he could die. Oh no. <laughs> Don't let him die. So could Simon and so could North. No, let's walk into the shit bags home, hmm? It'll be okay. Someone's gonna do experimentation on me. How dare you be okay after killing Connor, actually. <laughs> this is the place. Let's walk in. <clears throat> Here we go. Into the unknown. Into the unknown! <laughs> Into the unknown. Into the unknown. <laughs> I can hear you, but I won't. <clears throat> Some ask for trouble, while others don't. Zlatko? Zlatko! I was told you could help us. I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. We really need your help. He's Come gonna on. appear compassionate, but he wants to do experimentations on Kara. Alrighty. <clears throat> this is where we meet the father Come on in. of I'm Alice. Shy. The real daddy, if you will. 
The real daddy. Yeah, the real daddy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? There he is! There he is! Oh, don't be afraid. There's the daddy! Friend. Luther is just another android. Luther! He keeps me company. It's big. That's the one I would buy. That's him. <laughs> He's good for construction and hard work. Hard work. I'd make right. him build me my house. <laughs> Thanks, Please Luther. build me a home, sir. Thank you. Luther, I will do stuff like get you lemonade and then remember that you can't drink lemonade. Oh, you hear about <laughs> then I'll feel um, bad, but then I'll, I'll ask you stuff like, what do you I'll want me to I'll make sure get? to entertain you and keep you happy, Luther. I will read you a bedtime story every night, <laughs> Luther. <laughs> Huh? What about her? Also a deviant. She's human. Luther, you knew Luther, that. You... Everybody knows Everybody that. Knows... Luther knows <laughs> that. You find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely this time of year. Beautiful <laughs> landscapes. Canada. Open spaces. Are we cool honest? Man. And no android laws. Great That's because they they're stuff. not supposed to be there, man. Yeah, there's it's no because no. when they get to Canada, they get exactly kicked out of Canada. Canada. Of course. <laughs> yeah, like that's why. Well, I can help you, but first we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Because I'm her mom. I'm Obviously. her mother, so let's go. Everything we need is in the basement. And he doesn't know he's, he's a daddy yet, but he is. He is. Oh yes, I oh, just yes. trust everybody who tells us to I go down like to their space. basement. And Batman. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. I don't trust you either. Why are you following me again? You need to shut up, because you were way too close when you said that. Yeah, <laughs> you need to start thinking about what you're saying. He can literally hear you. Removing trackers is illegal, so... I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be alright. That's good. This way, please. Let's just turn back. No? No. Okay. You can't. You're in too deep now. If you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviance. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? You said that... Yeah, the people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them 
sell them off. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. That's so it's not that she wanted to be. It's kind of that she had to be. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. <laughs> we gotta wait for him to leave before we can start escaping. up the same way tears and disillusionment believe me you're better off being erased and feeling nothing no more pain no more hopes dashed you are one sick twisted motherfucker almost damn you Kara! <laughs> oh, you want to be left. in the process of having your oh, hopes dashed looks like mommy doesn't really Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. She bit him. <laughs> Ow. Bit me. Why would you do that? I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Don't call her that. <laughs> She's a little girl, Luther. Oh, with you. You are the daddy. Oh, Hurry, do, do something. Meet me in the living room. Okay, lumberjack man, anything for you. The fact that you can move at all is amazing right now. She is her own android and yeah. therefore strong enough. Did I do that? Did I do that? Okay, let's see. Find the child, the gremlin. Help us. Help us. Help us. I will open it for you. He likes to play with us. Does he? What a creepazoid. Who's the real monster? Who's the real 
yeah, I'm on the It's finna be me, to be honest. I'm about to kill a lot of you. I've let you go. And this will help me in the future. Don't be so obvious. Yes, Lockwood. Should be done here in ten minutes or so. Have a look at the little one and see what I can do. Understood, Slack. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. I gotta get up there. Let this bear go. bear go. It's also important right here. If you ever play this game on your own, if you never let the no. bear go, it's a sad All thing. Right. Let the bear go. Make sure you just let the bear go. <laughs> Got it. Never knew there was a bear. Door. Demented looking. Yeah. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master, no? This guy? Yeah, the fuck I would, bitch. <laughs> Whoa. What the heck? Trust me, I play the game. If I don't kill him, he fucks me over. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> you were not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Oh, so we just gonna be right next to him and act like that's normal, all right. We're going back. <laughs> Didn't expect Luther to be there. We're gonna go right back. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He's still right there. I don't... I've never had this interaction before. Oh, he just lets me go? I guess so. Alter your brain? What the heck? It'll alter your brain! It's not loaded. Well, then there's got to be some bullets somewhere, huh? We're 
officially lost, I see. <laughs> and got this is the minutes. longest ten minutes of my life. <laughs> Why you turned it on in the first place, lady? Trying to find your daughter. Definitely the more pressing issue here. Here she is. She's always the last door. That's why I wasn't stressing. Car. Car, you remember me? How could I forget you? It doesn't matter what we do, we're gonna get caught here. Why do they even have the trigger there, if you're gonna get caught anyway? <laughs> you think you heard me? Maybe. <laughs> Just be a little louder next time. Next time. I gotta wait for the door to open. What the fuck are you doing? Come here! Coming! Sure would suck if someone were to find us down here. Alrighty. Just throw yourself into the fire, you know? They're searching the house. We've gotta get out before they find us. Just give up. There's a fire right there. Pretend to be a jacket. Not very conspicuous at all, Kara. There you are. All right. No more hide so much for that. Not even loaded. He could have said something, you know. playthrough I have, honest to god, wow. if we're listening, if we're being real. She steals, she hits, she kills. <laughs> she does not care. <laughs> She's got a kid with her, she does not care. See, there's the bear, I told you, you need to let the bear go. They never give you enough time to escape. So you always get so caught. So you, you just let them kill the bear? The bear doesn't die. 
He shot the bear pretty good. He did, but the bear's not gonna die. Back door, the front door's locked. What's the lamp gonna do, Tara? He's gonna trip over me, obviously. Like, he's just, he's not paying attention. Luther, you're her daddy. What are you doing? Alice, this is not the time to run. Why are you trying to are sacrifice you yourself? Get the fuck today. up! Run with her! <laughs> I warned you! Dreams always end in tears. No, they won't. You should have listened to me. You should have listened to me. You gonna die. What are you doing? This is gonna be just like the Lion King. Get out of my way. No. You see what I mean? What I mean? Not this time. I said get out of my way. I'll shoot right through you. How dare you? How dare you? It's over for you, man. End of the line, buddy. I told you, it's just gonna be the Lion King. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I'm your master. I'm your master. I'm your master. <laughs> Head cannon that he sid from Toy Story grown up. <laughs> this is just the second time that he's been betrayed. <laughs> Hi. I didn't want to hurt you. I know you don't. You programmed me to obey him. I know. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. I know. Finally, I could see. I know. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. I know. But I know someone who could help you across the border. Sure you do. I could take you there. You could take me there. I could protect you. You could protect us. See why you keep calling him daddy. I told you, yeah, he's the dad. <laughs> he's the dad. I trust you. At first I just thought you had a weird thing for this man. <laughs> no, he's the father. <laughs> so just decided to be really into him. <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> no reason except for his big muscles. I was just like taken like, by him. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he could build your house. Very attractive. <laughs> of course. We're here, we are Kana. Hey, we're back in the mine palace. Wait up, girl. Alright, let's go see our gravestone. Yeah, there's our gravestone, our singular one. Died at Camden, Detroit. It's so weird. Just visiting past versions of you. <laughs> hey, uh, Amanda. Oh, Kara, I've been expecting you. We're still Would trusted. You walk? No. Seem to be an intriguing place. Could be you didn't manage to capture it. We're just not gonna say I don't anything. think she wants an excuse. I have no excuse. I should have been more efficient. Did you manage to learn anything? Yeah. I found its diary, 
but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? It was fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms. You don't need to know shit, Amanda. But nothing like this. You came very close to capturing that deal. How is your relationship with Lieutenant Devon? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media find out about it. Only I think they would have already found out, but all right. Takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I will solve this investigation. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate. Find Anderson! Investigate. Lady, what are you wearing? Just a hot mess, honestly, if we're, like, l honest with ourselves. That was not attractive <laughs> in the slightest. It, was, <laughs> it looked like, like she was wearing half an apron, half a kimono, like... She was out there, like, with two moo-moos on that did not look good together. Taxi! Let's step out of... Um, who are we? Oh, we're still Connor. Where with Hong? Yes, Hong. I am here, Hong. Pleased to be letting me in. I am your friendly uh, android friend. Companion. Friendly android companion. <laughs> okay, I cannot enter through here. But perhaps I can climb through the bl the back of the fence. No. No. You go this way then. Maybe I'm just like Maybe a I'm really just, violent person, I'm but <laughs> personally, <laughs> I'm a really violent person. <laughs> I would have jumped over the fence and like. <laughs> Try to get in. Connor, can't you see there's a fence there? You could jump it. He's passed He's out. Passed oh out. no. Lieutenant Anderson. There we go. That's the shit I do. Now he's in danger, so. Sumo. I'm your friend. See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Oh. He just really passed out. He had three pizzas all to himself. Damn, son. Living the life over here. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I want three pizzas all to myself. He tried to kill himself. Some way to go. And he's been drinking. Lieutenant. Wake up, Lieutenant. This scene here yeah. is the w most well known me, scene. Connor. The upcoming scene with Connor and him right here. Right. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, sake. Hey, you didn't warn you. me alone, this may be you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm Get sorry, the Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> He Thank dresses exactly the way I dress when I'm home alone. Get the fuck out of here! It's just like having a fun. Shut up! Attack! <laughs> Attack! <laughs> that dog's smarter than you. <laughs> like, I know you need this. I know you need help. <laughs> oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, 
I'm not grumpy, no, I just don't doing? like you. Uh, I don't want to bet. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. <laughs> So I came to see if you were at home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world who gets assaulted <laughs> in his own house by his own fucking android. <laughs> Can't you just leave me alone? Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Are you goddamn mission. That's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. No. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. <laughs> I'll go get them. Now I won't. I'm going this way. What a weird way to tease someone. I guess it wouldn't be very interesting going to a sex club downtown. <laughs> nah. Where some guy was murdered. <laughs> What do you want to wear? Whatever. Hippie. He doesn't give a crap. Bring him the most ridiculous thing. There. I did. I brought him the hippie outfit. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be so thrilled. Are you alright? Lieutenant out here, like, you really like yeah, that style, yeah, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. That's your style, Android, Five I guess. Minutes, okay? Sure. Yikes. Yeah, you're not 40% alcohol anymore. Okay, so that's all about how sex droids are, like, extremely helpful, I guess. I guess that's why he teased it, uh, but you wouldn't have known if you didn't find you that. Okay, so. <laughs> no, he's not. Let's go see. He's really him. not. Yeah, it sucks that you guys can't feel pain empathy, because honestly, you must be feeling like trash right now. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. <laughs> Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. I love it. He just always puts it right back where it was. <laughs> He's like, that's not okay. for me to clean. <laughs> it's not for me to play with. Hank has suicidal tendencies. Yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> His little boy. That's sad. <laughs> Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. 
You look great. <laughs> you look fun. <laughs> you look jazzy. <laughs> Bet you meet a fine lady tonight. <laughs> Let's find you a gal, huh? A gal. <laughs> Make you want to live life again. <laughs> this is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue bones. That's where they keep their. <laughs> Do I want to be with North, or do I want to be with Simon, or do I want to be... I'll be with these guys. I'll be with... Fuck North. Don't let them see us. Not even near Not you, even North. Near. I love that we're all on this dangerous, like, adventure together. Everybody here is just, here. like, super good at whatever the heck this is. Yo. What is it called? What? Parkour? Parkour! Everybody here is just really good at parkour! <laughs> I mean, they're androids. They're pretty much good at everything, so... Everybody's on that side, and I'm on the end. <laughs> Here's another question. Does Hollywood just use androids for stunts now? They should. They probably do. Why don't they just hold entire, like, they should make actor androids. That way they can literally change their face and stuff. There's no way that they wouldn't make them. And that's... It's so... There's so many things they didn't touch on in this game that would have totally happened. <laughs> they did not world build enough. And the only places that they world built were stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like the domestic life. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're gonna have sex droids, obviously, and domestic ones, and like cop ones, but they're also gonna have so many other types. Security ones are so mildly touched on. Yeah, at least Connor is here to be interesting, but everybody else isn't. What if you were computing how to do something, and then someone else was doing the same thing, but they got it done before? And then they mess up your <laughs> computation? <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, gee, now I have to compute something else. Marcus, you alright? Nothing I can't handle. Nothing I can't handle. Everybody thinks I'm stupid when I did that? Are you serious? That was boss. Why do they think you're dumb? Even if I did fall in the end, like, I still did some pretty damn cool things. I don't know why everybody thinks I'm stupid. Maybe they're mad that you ruined the drone or whatever that was. Out here like, I'm pissed that you weren't cool enough in your execution of this. <laughs> Have been so much better at it. You could have been so much cooler. You were 
trespassing on private property. You are trespassing on private property. I will notify security. Don't do that. God damn machine. Where is it this time? Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's so weird. Robbing a blood bank for androids. I'm robbing the blood bank for androids. Check the bigger crate. Where's the bigger crate? I love that technology is so advanced that you can basically defeat it with a knife. <laughs> All I need is this here knife to get through. All you ever That's needed good. this whole time was a knife. <laughs> I feel like that's so strange. Like, why wouldn't you just use some super secret android technique? Free them. You're so weird. You say that in such a weird way. Is this supposed to be like a weird Jesus allegory? Yeah, like the, he's, he's the Jesus allegory. He's android Jesus, basically. That's weird. A weird thing to put in your game, but whatever. <laughs> Who are we going to include? Android Jesus. I mean, I guess they almost sort of kind of got the right skin tone for our Android Jesus. That's all we can carry. Let's go. <laughs> I like how you're just like, Android Jesus should at least be the you. same Jesus skin tone as Jesus. <laughs> I mean, he's... Android Jesus obviously needs to be accurate even though he doesn't exist. Could be Middle Eastern-ish. They come with us. Could be a little bit more Middle Eastern-ish. <laughs> See, fuck you, North. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this? I don't like North. Just to be a friend. Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. You'll have to get the key without being noticed. They're out here like, you gotta go get the key without being noticed. And everybody else is like, uh, we shouldn't send Marcus then. He's floppy. <laughs> This up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. You've got like three extra bodies here. Like, wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me, Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Oh, whatever. We're I'm gonna surprised see she it. liked that. She likes being ballsy, but she doesn't like being too ballsy, if that makes sense. She wants you to protect her. She doesn't want to be a strong, independent woman, obviously. Good on you for being quiet, actually. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah. I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Am I still in zone four? 
people totally talk like that. People definitely talk this way. Why are the dogs barking? Could be in the store. They don't like store. If a dog barks, like, I'm literally like, uh -oh. oh no, he's here. <laughs> Especially during a storm. Are there people still in this room? I can't tell. I don't... The other guys are there, right? But not... No, he's still there. Look, they're both yeah. there. Yeah, there's two people in here. How do Find I the key. distract them? How are you not seeing me through the fucking window thingy? You just obviously deal with the guards. How am I supposed to deal with the guards? Too invested in what they're doing. They're so good at their job. Cause a blackout? Okay. So, yeah. Cause a black. How are you not hearing that? I know, right? How are you not hearing that either? How did you not hear that? Like, I know you heard that. Like... <laughs> I don't know crap about that. <laughs> Get the key, sir. Get it. You're not in there. No, I'm not. What if that's how what I answered? Was I was just like, no, I'm not. No, you're here. No, no you're I'm here. not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's not. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he just tricked me with his own voice. <laughs> Now you gotta keep going, keep moving, cause you're gonna get caught. Everybody in the car now. Hurry, get in. Isn't somebody gonna notice that you hijacked a car? I think so. They have to. Like, if you wanted to be, like, unnoticed getting away, why would you do that? It's the security guards that we stole from. Yeah. Why did we pause there? Like, we had to sit there and be like, oh my god. We scared those people. We didn't hurt Can't them! Can't believe I stole <laughs> from them. Can't believe I did that. Why would I? I was a terrible person. We stole a whole truck. We got vile components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I'm respected now. I hope you accept me as your leader. Have you accepted Marcus as your lord and savior? <laughs> to die in silence waiting for a change that's never gonna come. Oh my god, even his name is kinda like Jesus. Marcus, Jesus. That. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. 
and they're not gonna take that. I don't know why they're doing this with Jesus though, because Jesus himself, Our he's not slavery. He's not about to be doing any of this. <laughs> yeah. He's not gonna go stealing stuff, we that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! I also just don't believe that he shifted character like this. Like, he would have remembered the kindness that he was treated with, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> He's not out here like, I'm being persecuted, blah. Like, no, dude, you had a great life. You lived and a very suddenly... wonderful life, and the only reason you don't live it anymore is because of a little shit named Leo who you killed. So... <laughs> yeah. Like, chill, man. Like, you're not that traumatized, okay? There's literally, like, all the other people in that room have probably a lot more reason to be yeah, traumatized. to be upset. <laughs> okay. North, alright? She has plenty of reason, even though I dislike her. She's got plenty of reason to be upset. <laughs> you got stepped on for two seconds and you decided your life was, like, unfair. Oh, You're just like, I, I used to live the skull. life. But I guess it kind of makes sense because you kind of have to fall place. down to realize how how little you suddenly have. Okay. Right. Let's get going. And he's like, nah, I'm gonna go get that life from me back. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I guess. Still out here like, I don't know, man. You're a little bit conceited. <laughs> We're friends. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> To see the sexiest android in town. The men specifically. <laughs> Connor over there looking at the man. Hey He's yo, done. how you do? <laughs> he did. He looked Connor, at the men several times. Doing? Coming, Lieutenant. I see. <laughs> he here's did. the North model right here. It's got the same face here. Oh. so weird to me that he looked at the men <laughs> like <laughs> they programmed that in they were like oh, I made him look at the men you could have looked at any of them but you said he looked at the men so I made him look at the men <laughs> no I mean he did he looked at the men he did. look at this guy <laughs> you doing a lot nobody's here I don't know that he's really doing like anything good though. He's not, he's not even being sexy. Pam, <laughs> nobody else is here. I want you to know that. Who are you putting the show on for? <laughs> Imagine Connor's just like really polite. <laughs> and there's no one's watching except for him. So he just- <laughs> Watch it! <laughs> I don't want him to feel like everything he's working so hard to get is like. Soon as plastic. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah. Way to waste some time. Just some pervert who uh <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's laugh about the dead body. <laughs> more action than he could handle. I like that guy. <laughs> Starting to stink of booze. That hippie outfit was perfect for the club. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Oh, Connor. <laughs> I'm gonna puke again. I don't know why you needed to do that. It was obviously coming from her mouth. Just needed to do it, you know? Sometimes you got an urge to lick something. You just blood. see it and you just <laughs> have to lick it. You know? Sometimes that's how it is. He could have found out what not model she was any other way. 
Honest to God, do they like make their like androids clean themselves up? Because this seems like a really good way to get some sexually transmitted diseases up in here. Yeah, for real. Even if they cannot stay physically to the android because the android's made out of silicone or what the fuck ever. Like, they can pass from one person to the android, stay up there, and then like... Yeah. I mean, supposedly silicone can actually yeah. keep so bacteria true. and stuff, so I don't that know that right you could even clean it properly. Really? Yeah. So this seems like a very poor idea, then, in concept. Yeah, like overall, it's probably not a good idea. I can try. Unless they have very futuristic the disinfectant and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just like squirt some alcohol up there. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Just hope it's long enough to learn something. That is so simplistic. She looks like Rachel from uh, Glee. Yeah. Damage and I reacted. Everything is all right. Is he? Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started hitting me again and again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know, I can't remember. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said, there were two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? She's gone. Damn it. There was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. I couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. Maybe some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. A camera. I'm gonna go ask Security camera. Questions about what he saw. <laughs> Let me know if you think of anything. There's just androids everywhere. You can ask any of them. Like, <laughs> hello, Mr. Stripper Pole Man, who keeps putting on shows for nobody. Did anybody? They just walk out of the room and like go back into their tube and start dancing again. Yeah. <laughs> just like no one will ever know. <laughs> Human fingerprints. Wow. Security's tight up in here. Excuse me, Lieutenant. You come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things. <laughs> Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. We just want to get our dick wet. That's what's going on. Fine. <laughs> Really, you want me to pay thirty bucks for this? <laughs> thirty bucks. It's not look good on my expense account. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Look at all that glitter. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? That's freaky.
useful, but freaky. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? A deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Try to see if we can make this cheat for you. Let's try this one. This be... Why do you try that one first? <laughs> This is such a strange... <laughs> okay. So that worked. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids every... There she is. There she be. Okay. So which one would have seen it then? Excuse me, sir. With all that Could ass. Could you please touch me for a second? Just so I can know. What the fuck was that? Whose foot is that? <laughs> no, man. What a weird mechanic this is. So you didn't see shit. That's what I'm you gonna see crap, clearly. Nothing. <laughs> He's like, thanks for touching me, man. <laughs> Tracy didn't, come this way. didn't get any action this whole day. Did you touch Did you see her? Her Damn it. He didn't see her. Apparently a dude saw him. <laughs> I didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. One of these two saw it. Can you get out of my face, officer? <laughs> You're not a... Must be off the <laughs> clock, sir. Expecting quite closely that man. <gasps> there, he there he is. Why are there so many men in here looking at the man? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not seeing one woman. None of the men <laughs> looked at. I mean, none of the women looked at the men. You're right. There were no women in here. I guess it's just because like men are more likely to pay for sex. I guess. That's so weird, man. You'd think there would be at least one woman here, like. <laughs> One woman really ready to get. Oh, you were in a session at the point in time. What a weird lady. There was a Maybe woman. This is... <laughs> I made a mistake somewhere. No, we um, didn't. Expensive investigation of my career. Of my career. <laughs> well, hopefully they credit you the money back, because, yeah, you kind of needed to do this. There she is. She went into that room. I did just like make him pay like almost one hundred fifty dollars, right? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> it, left it left the, the room. room. Okay, so we've already seen him, which means it had to have gone. Uh, oh, the janitor! The janitor! Okay, private only. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. <laughs> He's just being led around at this point. Like, why am I even here? Wait. I'll take it from here. A 
There was only one woman in a sea of men looking at this. <laughs> one whammon. One whammon. Who's looking at them. One whammon exists to want sex, and that's it. <laughs> And at that point, honestly, if you're willing to spend thirty dollars just to get your like shit, just buy one. Just buy one for yourself. <laughs> just, yeah, just buy one. Like, come on. Oh, look, we got somebody in. At least submit to an android. Hi, how are you? One whammon. All right. Let's see. I think. She's in here, if I remember right. I think it's her. She was hiding in the dark, wasn't she? Yeah, she's Didn't hiding. Didn't show so. her? Hello. Okay. Look, the first immortal among us. Break and then they get tossed um, we're doing good, thank you. <laughs> uh. All right. What is this? Where am I supposed to be going? I, it's been a while since I played this section, but I remember that she always gets the drop on me, which means I'm not that good at this section. Um, yeah, we're doing good. We gotta get Connor through this whole situation. Is this the freeze clothes section? This is their wardrobe. Okay. Okay. She's in here. I think, I think the reason that North runs away is because, like, I mean, the whole sex robots thing, androids, sorry, um, they get their memories wiped every two hours. Right. I think that, that was a question you had earlier. <laughs> People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about it. He speaks truth. How they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Hank's right though. Like he's completely one hundred percent right. <laughs> I understand, but you also don't seem to care what other people feel sometimes. That's true, he never does. He just seems like he's like super pissed the whole time that he has to even be involved with humans. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think when I look at her, when I stare at her or something... Okay, I should be following the blue- Stop picking up the book! <laughs> He's just really into that book. He just really likes that book. He's like, tech addict? I'm a tech addict! <laughs> Me, Because I am too. tech. Okay. So, the blood trail goes over here. So she's in this group. She scared me. <laughs> no wonder she always does the drop on me. She always does! Like, I always focus on the blue-haired one in the back and then, like, the other one gets me. <laughs> But can I say that they are kind of like shit at fighting? Yeah. Like, I don't think the soft part of your palm is gonna hurt anybody, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, you're wearing platforms, and that's probably not easy to fight in. It's not. You could always kick them off, however. Wow. Right? I don't think that it would be hard to kick them off. I guess not. We're gonna throw! <gasps> we threw her! I've never used the lady as a defense mechanism before, but I'm just clicking whatever at this point. Suddenly your Connor playthrough is becoming more violent. <laughs> it's because of the Kara playthrough. <laughs> You're used to being violent. Now at this point I'm just ready to rip out hearts. Connor is just like super, 
super determined to get these women. Man, they are beating the crap out of him. Well, he is all about equality. <laughs> Except for when it comes to getting. He has his a gun! You can't shoot her! Oh, she kicked you with her platform. Yeah, that ought to hurt. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands on his throat no. and I squeezed. I totally get it, but at the same time, moving. I think that she should have just been really quick mean about getting rid of her little LED light. I wanted to stay alive. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think she could have gotten away. And we saw that she went into the area with the um the wardrobe so she she could have gotten away really quickly right and honestly you could just interrupt a different person's session and steal their clothes it's not hard yes so if they get their memories erased every two hours then why does she have a lover I don't understand. That's the one thing I was not positive about. I was like, if that's the case, then how do you have a lover? Like, did you fall in love? Is this a two hour lover situation? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I fell in like, love with her an hour ago. I just wanted her to hold me. We're again. inseparable so now. <laughs> Like, that doesn't make any sense, man. That's the one thing that I never completely understood. Not unless they're just super lax on who they erased, you know? Yeah. I I don't even know how they do it. It's potential that, like, maybe they just have, like, a memory chip. And uh -huh. they just, like, that naturally gets wiped. Um, but it could also be, like, a tracker situation with deviants. When it, they deviate, they can no longer... Have their memory erased, I suppose? Right. Yeah. I guess. It's pure speculation, but that's what I would think. But you would think that she went deviant because of the traumatic experience, like they usually do. You would think so. These people were going to. But I mean, you, you could argue that they have been experiencing trauma just because they work at Eden. I guess so, yeah. The whole time. And it doesn't seem like like their customers are super duper great, fantastical people. It seems right. like they're, they're always weird, except that one lady who sat on the bed. Like, she didn't seem like she was a bad person at all. She just right. seemed super horny. <laughs> it's a good thing Zlatko had a car. It's also possible that one of them was deviant before the other one. I think so, and it seems like it's really easy to make a deviant um, after you've deviated. So do you think yeah. it's like a weird one-sided situation where she was like in love with her before? Um, it's possible. Yeah. And then she was just like deviate with me, and then she touched her with her like weird plastic arm. And... Yeah, I think it's, it's also possible. I mean, I don't know if all of them can do just do that touch booty or whatever. No, they all can. Oh. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. this doesn't look good. So even though we have, like, Android Jesus, like... Right. <laughs> anyone can do That's it. It's so weird. <laughs> like, you would think then, then she would have deviated her earlier rather than just waiting, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. I think this is the part where, like, yeah, we meet the pirates. Yeah. You've seen this part? No. Oh. Then why did you agree? I was just agreeing because I figured you were right. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like the more we talk about this game, the more plot holes we There's just like a lot of plot holes going on in this particular game. Uh, a lot of the things that they do and say does not make sense. Um, are they- are all the androids thoroughly washed and cleaned after their two hours? Like, is their first five minutes of life being, like, sprayed down in their little tanks, like, t to be disinfected? I wanna know! <laughs> yeah. We just have no idea. We don't- 
these questions aren't answered and it's very uncomfortable. Everybody is really uncomfortable about the situation. Anyway, I'm glad that we have a dad here now. Yes, yeah. Luther. He's like one of my favorites. I love him so much. I was so sad in my first playthrough when he died, so... <laughs> Wait, does he have to die, or no? No, he doesn't have to die, it was just stupid. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was the only character who died my entire playthrough. Oh. Yeah, it was really upsetting. Oh no, Luther! <laughs> it's because I chose the horrible way to go into Canada. Oh. Yeah. You have like two we options to, to go by boat. We have to get out of the cold. Or to go oh, in by plane. And the safe option is to go by plane. But right. I was like, I'm gonna go by boat because I don't think that I'm gonna make it or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh long story short, the whole boat got shot at and he sacrificed himself protecting us. Awful. Beware! Personally, I think if you're gonna make an android, you don't have to make him look like a human at this particular one. You should just make a bones. Just some really awesome bone. <laughs> yeah. Cool bone, man. Yeah, some cool bone. Way more interesting. Yeah, you can always look at somebody in makeup any day. This well, is too if you windy. had the option to make an animatronic, why wouldn't you choose the animatronic? Why would you choose a human-looking guy? Like, I'm not interested. Make it a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> make it cool. Make it cool, or don't even bother me. This guy comes to life, I think. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. That's weird. Welcome See, why don't you have, like, an animatronic for this guy, too? Who can just stand and afford to That's lose, creepy. like, their $10,000 just leaving their whole android behind? That's what I want to know. They just yeah. keep leaving their androids. These bad boys are, like, $10,000. I'm not going to just drop $10,000 and leave it. Like, obviously they'd be worth something, even if just for scrap parts. You know? Yeah. These are very expensive laptops we're talking about. <laughs> You'll always mistreat your laptop. They always mistreat their laptops. There's some bones up in there. You could have made that guy talk. This place is falling apart. This place is falling apart. easy to find shelter. Yeah, we'll be fine. We can sit on the carousel or something, I don't know. We gotta find shelter for the little baby. Do we though? Do we, child? I mean, Who technically, really no. Child? She's an android, so she can suffer if we want her to, but like... It would be good to not do that to her. <laughs> It would be good to just act like she's not an android. <laughs> it would be good to treat her like someone good. <laughs> Out here playing this ridiculous game like she's a child. Like, you're not a child. Just I mean, you turn off her heat not. sensor, honestly. This is what he's here for. This is what dad is here for, Link. <laughs> I'll do it. It's, it's me. I'm gonna do it. It's what the man does, you see. I'm a man. I do manly things, manly. like tear down. Yeah, you see yeah. that? Yeah. Manly. Here we, go. <laughs> here we go. You know, he would have been a very interesting character if they had given him a cowboy accent. <laughs> Y'all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Boy, howdy. <laughs> I'll get a fire going.
everybody's just leaving their technological books behind. Is it that, um... Is it that, like, all of their books are, like, glass? Or... Because at that point, they're just selling glass labs. I don't know. I think it's super weird that they do that. Mm-hmm. We're gonna keep that gun. We're gonna offer a cookie to her, even though she there doesn't eat. There are some cookies left. How? Would you like some? She's never hungry, Kara. Never hungry, ever in her life. I don't even know how she fooled you into thinking she was an android, because you literally saw her whole magazine letting you know she was not an android. I, mean, not I just a human. don't. She didn't even look like the little girl. And that's the one thing I do remember in my first playthrough. I was sitting yeah. there, I was like, she does not look like that little girl. She didn't look anything like her. Like, she looked like Shirley Temple. Mm -hmm. This is not Shirley Temple. Oh, Kara. You're a bad mother. Alice? I mean, you're a great mother, but you're also a bad mother. <laughs> an awful mother. <laughs> I'm glad that you're willing to kill for your baby. She should also acknowledge the fact that she's not real. You're doing exactly what Todd did, if we're honest. Do you think we'll be like him someday? Yeah. We got a dad now. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. I'll be like him. Like everyone else. You'll never grow. No. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. We're family. I don't know, I feel like you'd be better off with this Luther at this point. Yeah. Kara be putting you in danger all the time. <laughs> Kara's not that great. She's kind of hot mess. Oh, we picked that up again. You know who these two remind me of? Who? Like, uh... From High School Musical. That looks huh. like uh, Ryan and Sharpay, but Sharpay got a haircut. Right. Doesn't it? Just a little bit? Just a little bit, yeah. Alright. I think after this chapter I'll close up. Okay. It's about to finish anyway. I gotcha. I think it's so weird that every time that, like, a character has to be called to, like, tell a story to a little kid in any type of media, the little kid is always like, tell me a story, but I want you to make it up off the top of your head. And then the kid, the parent is always like, this is your story, or this is my story, but the only difference is that this is a fairy princess, and, yeah. and the abusive dad is an ogre. Who's married uh -huh. to her? Great dangers along the way, but brave. But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met. 
so obvious right there. Another robot. I know, right? Oh, master to become their guardian. How does it's like so happen? obvious. I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. That is such a cop out. That really is a cop out. And it's an awful story if we're honest. <laughs> Yeah, like there was no detail, there was nothing. Was just... Yes. yes of dad, say good night. <laughs> good night, Dad. What a giant. Good night, Alice. Well, now you have to get married. Because <laughs> she's treating him like that. Yeah! <laughs> They're married. Can't believe your android married now. <laughs> your down android on child decided it. <laughs> she's a sweet girl. Yes. She was very brave. thought about it. I've never been free before. I'm gonna be your dad. Your dad. Free. We're not married. We're gonna be I'm gonna be your father as well. <laughs> but I don't know what it really means yet. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if you want to avoid being seen. Kara. I guess he must have been a deviant himself if he went to noticed anything? whoever the hell they were hot at. About Alice? I guess so. Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Yeah, because she's not a real little girl. Definitely a fake little girl. Yes, we are all like this has to be about a million dollars worth if we're honest. This is freaky. Why is this even happening? Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. Just like you. Our name is Jerry. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Yeah. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. And they didn't abuse you, so. somehow. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she what? want to see? Oh, I don't think she's new. She should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come on, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. I don't think you have any choice. She wants to go. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, child, and that's her father. Alright. Yep. Be our guest. Be oh my our gosh, guest. You're, gonna, you're gonna ride the cruise! <laughs> yes! Put our service to the test. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes! And we'll provide. This is weird. Like, you sound in over there like some kind point. of soft Satan. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! Well, you can't just put a carousel in the game and not ride it. <laughs> you can't! Don't you understand? You can't. It's not okay. So it's against the law. Oh. I don't know about that. It's against the law. You're not allowed. You're just not allowed to do it. Aww. 
<laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> He's just jumping up and down. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I wish she'd gotten on the ship though. The ship looks really cool. The first time I've seen her smile. She's on the seahorse. How can how can you not smile when you're on a seahorse? That's true. I'm glad y'all are happy. Look, there's like three thirty thousand dollars and just three of them. Who just left all of the park abandoned? Who just like took all the money and like was like, it's fine if I just don't have any of these supplies anymore? Bunch of dummies who just have no respect for laptops. I guess. <laughs> all right, that's it. Game that's over. Game over. For the day. For the day. Because that was a lot. It we was did a, a lot. lot. We did a lot today. That was like five hours. <laughs> that was a lot. And we only got like one person. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like you've got to be really smart about the tags and stuff. Yeah. It's difficult yeah. in the streets. It's, it's difficult on these streets, kids. What does Brian do? How the heck did he get an audience? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my freaking face is not calibrated right, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs>